Hello, Raven. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You sound great. Okay, good. And don't be nervous. Nothing to be nervous about. I've done a lot of these interviews, uh, about a thousand. I am nervous. Yeah, well, it's normal. I mean, you're not used to doing this sort of thing. Uh, I am. No, uh, I'm a huge attention whore, Ralph. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. You're you're such an attention whore, but I've never, you know, until Worski started lying about you, you know, we'd never heard your voice, didn't even know you existed uh, until he blew this whole thing up. So if you're attention whore and you're not going about it the right way, I'll have to teach you a few things if you if you really want to oh, do that. Oh, it's because I'm retarded as well. <laughs> I don't know how to do it right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach yeah. you how to be a proper attention whore if that's what you want, but I don't think you do. Oh, uh, I don't want it. No, no, I'm, I'm, I don't want it. I don't want it. I do not want it. <laughs> I know a few tricks. Uh, but anyway, um, you know what? Why don't you introduce yourself to the audience a little bit? Um, just give them a little background on yourself. As much as you want. You don't have to give too much, but I'm just... <laughs> I don't know. I'm just... I'm on. I'm just a person that, you know, I've had shows that I've liked, that I've watched, you know, for years. I am the non normie in my family, I guess. Um, so, but I'm not someone that's been like, you know, in chats and trying to get attention, you know, but it's been, you know, I've watched a few shows. I don't know. I don't need You know a little bit about a little bit, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, so you're not totally ignorant of this scene, or as we call it, the sector, as I coined that term, by the way. The sector. The sector. But, um, yes. no, yeah, but no, I'm not totally ignorant to it, not at all. I'm not going to come in here and pretend and or lie like Andy has done. That's all he's done. But, um, you know, I'm not, so, you know, some someone that's ignorant to everything. But um, there's lots of stuff I didn't know, by the way, too, <laughs> um, that... You know, I'm being accused of all these things. But also, I, I want to say right now um, that, you know, I'm being accused of being an attention whore and a clout chaser and all these things. But um, I want one career, just one. Don't care how big, small, whatever. If you've got a DM for me ever, put it out there, please. Because there isn't one, by the way. I'll just, that's what I'm wait, saying. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you didn't, like... you didn't message Tommy C.? On some no, meth out binge never. and said, pay attention to me, and you have 10 minutes to respond. No. You didn't send anything like that to Tommy C., are you sure? Never. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty positive, but my retarded brain might have forgotten, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure I've never, ever, ever, ever sent any DMs to anybody that is online, ever, wait, apart wait, wait. from unfortunately. Wait, wait, you didn't, you didn't try to hit on Tipster uh, and crawl up into his No, butt. definitely you not. You sure? Okay, not, <laughs> not Diorio either, none of those guys? Okay. No, I've heard. No, not. no, I haven't gone around the whole commentary community and, um, you know, got rejected and then Andy, um, you know, he took, I, the funniest thing is he, he's finding this out. I really don't think he knew, but he's finding this stuff out about someone he paid I mean to pay fifty grand for that anyway, but anyway, that's another point. But um, seems like he could have got a better deal on that, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. 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 Um, well, maybe he believed the profile pictures or the as um I had the clip the picture the the ten year old nudes. I don't know, but um I don't think he um turned up to the airport and you know. Well, well, now he's in too deep. You know what I mean? Uh, it's a sunken cost fallacy at this point. He's in so deep, uh, but he's gonna get in a lot deeper. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh, it's not. They're, I mean, they deserve each other. I'm. I'm. I didn't know she existed until she tweeted. I literally didn't know she existed. I. I. I've. Um. I have a real life as well, so I'm not. I'm not terminally online. Um. And that's not. I'm not trying to be offensive to anybody. I'm just talking about myself, like me, obviously, because that's what I'm. I suppose meant to do, right? <laughs> At this moment, I'm allowed to speak about me now. Sure. And by the okay. way, for those who don't know, we're talking about uh, Liana, the meth whore, and I'll call her that. You don't have to call her that. Uh, yeah. We're, we're talking about her, and really, I probably wouldn't have even went there, but she attacked you uh, yes. on your on your kids and your motherhood skills, yes. uh, which I thought uh -huh. was way out of line, especially for a barren you know, meth whore to do something like that. Um, yeah. But uh, she did attack you publicly, I guess, over the weekend, mm -hmm. over the last couple of days. Uh, just any yeah. more thoughts on that before I get into to the the rundown here well that's why and i know um the sweep up crew for him um 
and it's the same ones just going at me constantly on Twitter. I, I just, whatever, I've stopped responding. It's boring now. Um, I mean, it's so boring. Like, they can't even have, like, come up with something creative to call me. It's just the same shit that's spamming, whatever. It's just, they're not even creative, are they? But, um, no. oh, shit. So, but, um, sorry, but for her to do that, obviously, all she knows is what he said about me, obviously. But I really feel like she's loving this for another reason. Because if, I, and obviously, like I said, I didn't just come out because I'm bitter. That's what the, that's the narrative they're trying to push is, um, oh, the timing, don't, this can't be a coincidence. Well, it, 100%, just, it was like a storm in a teacup. I made, it's the first time ever I'd typed in any chat, let alone Cog's chat. It was before the show had even started. There was just music playing. So I didn't even know there was, he was watching the screen. And he was already in there on an alt, by the way. Um, this is how this started. Um <laughs> I'm so glad he's you're already explaining watching this, himself. by the way. Yeah, go ahead. Finish. Yeah, because I think it's important yeah, to explain because um, it's it's you know people are saying that I've just started you know doing interviews and all that. No, that's not how it started. So I had been at, um, you know I I literally got a notification probably you know because it, Andy's name whatever I don't know how Google you know what they, you get random notifications sure. on YouTube and I was on YouTube. And I was like, oh, my God, what's this about? Because I literally haven't watched him or, you know, I can't bear to any more. Do you know what I mean? It drives me insane because it just is, there's no real beliefs, no real value, no real ethics, no anything is, you know, this like him to realise is it's just properly being a comedian for money. It's literally all for money. It's fake beliefs, fake shit. And, you know, all the people that do watch, um, you know, and they buy it and they well, they literally buy it, and um, I, I don't know how they can support all this just li- lies. That I mean, they would say anything for money. They would support anything for money, and it, that's all it's all about. But yeah, so I legitimately just saw this. It was randomly. I was already on YouTube, and um, I just typed. I literally at first was feeling sorry for because this is how my brain works anyway I was thinking oh my god another poor bitch from halfway across the world from him do you know what I mean yeah. um and I felt bad I was like oh god put another poor I, I swear the second I t- oh my god and John is all I mean oh she's a psycho she's there she's that and I was thinking who is that like who is that because no one knows like do you know what I mean it confused me so in the chat I'm seeing this and then Cog immediately was like if that's the real Andy Worski if that's because he was saying it was him on this account that isn't his obviously well it is his god knows how many alts he's got but um and then Cog was like oh tweet out on your on your actual Twitter so I know it's you and um he did and he did and so um obviously it confirmed it was him and then that's when everyone got really interested. And I was like, oh, my God, I didn't I didn't expect Andy to be sat there. I didn't expect anyone to really even pay attention. You know, I thought they would all think I was just making it up and, you know, I'll, I'll hear someone other weirdo in the chat or not even even know. No one really even noticed it until Andy re- started replying like straight away. Oh, this not, oh, this not, which obviously everyone's like, well, why would someone be replying like that if? This is just some nutter making this up. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And I then exactly what you mean. And this all happened within 24 hours, by the way. So my brain, as a person that's not a OnlyFans person, I'm not a live streamer, I'm not a YouTuber, I'm not, you know what I mean? So, like, it's it was very overwhelming for me. And then to try and put four years of stuff in order and to process it, and it's the first time I've, I've spoken about anything to anyone because it's I'm I'm embarrassed to be quite honest that I would have any association with him I I, I really I'm embarrassed and you know someone on Twitter was like oh she's only putting out his shit she's not well actually that's not true um obviously I would message him back obviously but I'm here to cl- clear up the fucking lies from the crazy insane coke confidence fueled stream he did about me right that was all lies by the way and i hadn't seen this so so i'm trying to put the timeline in order all within 24 hours i typed in a chat i didn't think anything of it um and then all of a sudden andy walski's tweeting about me publicly um and then i didn't know that he did that live stream i get off i you know i well you know i just got off i got offline i had the hospital the next day i i told you you know private, yes. you know i told you sure. you already know this um 
and you know you know it i didn't just say it i, I proved that to you i'm not you know pr privately but i'm saying you can vouch that i was at the hospital all day um and so that that next day the cog interview day so I, I want to explain with that as well oh, so, and let me stop you, you there you're mad with me I've, re I've watched your show now and you were very mad when i was going on i there. was a little and mad like, because, well, hold yeah, on wait, wait, wait. Let, let me stop and i'll let you pick it back up i was only mad because i knew he was gonna fumble it uh i didn't want him to fumble it uh but he, and again we have our own beef i don't like him obviously um but you know i still wanted to you know, some type of success there, even for somebody I didn't like. Uh, and we didn't really get that. I'll ask you this super chat. You don't have to go in on him if you don't want, but I was asked this super chat. Um, at one point, at what point during the interview did you realize Cog was an apt oh. and totally retarded? When, when that set in, were you frustrated or annoyed more? And you can go in or not go in. It's up to you. But that was a super chat that I got. All I'll say, and also I do want to say this, Ralph, and I, when I message you and you, it wasn't a you didn't lie but yeah when i so when i messaged you saying i'm not doing an interview with cog i don't i don't want to tell me that. lying to yes yes i did <laughs> and that's true but what i'm saying why i'm saying that is because all day he was messaging me saying he didn't want an interview and i said that's fine because I, I don't because i'm a attention whore right yeah but i was saying that's fine i that's cool i don't i didn't you were you're the one that said you wanted one yes. now you don't that's fine and I, i'm at the hospital all this all day so i wasn't looking online or anything i was having lots of things test done right so um and i was i came back and i was absolutely exhausted and i fell asleep for about an hour and a half and i woke up so all so mentally i'm not in the headspace that i'm going to be speaking about any of this because the cog said there's nothing really to ask or everyone's asked what they wanted in chat whatever it was so mentally my you know i wasn't you know, and I'd just Prepared. woken up. I'd yeah. been in the hospital all day. But, uh, I didn't think I was going to be speaking about anything. And then all of a sudden, and bearing in mind, I didn't see the lead up or the start of Cog Show because I was, I was asleep after the hospital. I didn't know Andy had done that mental live stream. So I am I was blind to a lot of things going into that as it was. I've never seen Cog interview someone either. Um, And he, I was just saying to you what he had said to me that, oh, um, there's gonna, there's not gonna be an interview with him because um, he doesn't know what to ask. He doesn't know what he'd ask because um, that there's nothing really to ask anymore. That people asked in chat, and if anyone has a question, they can ask him, and he'll message me. And if I want to reply, I can. And I said, Sam, looks like Sam, fine. So that's how. And then all of a sudden, it was like, oh, she'll come in, I'm sure. And then I was like, in. And it was like, what? I, I had no. It was like, what is that? I was okay right i guess i'm doing this it was like that that's how that happened so all this clout it, it wasn't like that and, I, I don't know, that and this is all within a 24-hour period where eight of those hours i was in the hospital you know a couple of hours i was asleep like and this is all in such a short space of time and it's something i never thought would even get anyone's attention i wasn't doing it for attention i just i just found it it funny it's another person from halfway across the world yeah it was like a perfect and kind storm of sprung for some it on reason. You. Now, the stars aligned but without me even reacting now i didn't know the live stream happened that he did the mental one he did about me um about until warfare. yes sorry yeah, yeah sorry no time uh, yes i just want to that get it clear for mental you. coke yeah the coke fueled fucking stream i had no idea he'd done that till after the cog speaking to cog as well so you know i i didn't go in there tr even trying to clear any of that up because i didn't know it what, what it said i didn't know it, that had even happened um so there's a lot i didn't get to defend well i couldn't defend anything i couldn't get a point out really could i i tried <laughs> i did try i thought you came across well but you know he was constantly cutting you off it was and i got yeah. i'm sorry but I, uh when he he sort of came at me like liana about my parenting and that i wanted to uh yeah <laughs> i'm a nice i don't want to be on i, just, I could imagine no, that upset you uh and yeah uh, his wife attacking felt, you as well and, like i was being interrogated yeah and i didn't understand what was happening i did i was so i was just confused i was confused and i i i don't know why all of a sudden he, he didn't want to do the interview didn't want to do the interview and then all of a sudden he did I, all of a sudden out of nowhere i why 
It was just strange. Uh, and then him and his wife, quote unquote, started attacking you. And I, I, I don't know. I was kind of appalled by it. And that, yeah, go ahead. I mean, I didn't get to end anything either because. Tell Jeff, them that. Uh, and then it got like the trolls and the bots and all of that happened. And then um, it was like, um, I, I, I can't say I got kicked, but I didn't leave myself. Okay. That didn't happen. So maybe let's say there was a something happened with Discord bugs out sometimes. I, I, I can't don't say think I so. Kicked, I, think he, I, I think he did. Kick but I'm you, just but saying, you don't I, know I, for sure. I, I, yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I'm not going to. That's fine. Allegation that I don't know. I'm 100 true out there because that's just me as a person. That's fair. But I'm just saying, I didn't leave that call. And then all of a sudden, it's like, well, that's the interview done. And I was already out. I'd, I'd already been. You can, if anyone rewatches that, you can hear, um, you know, the entering and the sound on discord when you enter and leave a call right you can literally hear it and hear like it uh, and uh, i was already gone before he said interview done and then he just ended the show immediately uh, uh, and i was like what has just happened um, i couldn't even process it well before you knew be it was honest. already over uh and you didn't even get to cover and of course you didn't know about the stream and couldn't correct all nope. that stuff anyway uh, the worski stream exactly. i don't know i was just uh, i was just appalled by it. but i, I did want to uh, address that a little bit at the top now now let's double back um, and, and go through the line here uh, for, for the meat of the interview. And I may add a couple of other questions. We talked some yesterday as well. So um, just to, you know, get you feeling comfortable. And, you know, some people were telling her that I was going to snake her or trash her and all this stuff, which, of course, I'm not. Well, the second I leave, you're going to. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, tomorrow you're going to. Or two weeks' time you're going to. <laughs> I've been right. told. I mean, I've been getting... Well, they did know, everything... It's all that, the people that didn't want me to do it. That, yeah, you know. that's why. They didn't want this interview to happen. And no. there was so much bullshit on Twitter, and they're trying to involve, you know, stuff in And I'm not used to this life. stuff. You've yeah. got to remember this. I'm not used to any of this. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not used to this. It's not my life. Do you know what I mean? So, right. And also, I find it very funny that um, they're saying that, you know, I'm obsessed what, with my own life. What do you mean I'm obsessed? Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm obsessed with four years of my own life, am I? You, I? Like, they're obsessed. What the fuck are they on about? And I'm talking about the ones that are going at me constantly, 24 hours a day, the same ones. And it's like, how, how are they calling me obsessed about well, a period of time in my life? My, my life. It seems they, like they're the, the obsessed ones, the, not me. They were just trying to stop this from happening through any means necessary, and they failed. Um, now, this is a question that came in before I go to the official questions. You don't have to answer this. I don't know if you know this or not. This is a little bit of a, bl oh, of a, blue, of a blue question. Uh, you don't have to answer it if you don't okay. want, but people can submit questions. Giga Ninja, yeah. who is a friend of mine, but he's a bit of a comedian. Uh, so does, okay. does Andy... I'm sure if I can take some shit, but go on. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to, you don't <laughs> have to answer. Just be, be clear, some of these will be probably comedic, uh, but some of them are more serious than others, uh, but some are, pro are probably uh, more more comedic fashion. Uh, a Giga Ninja says, does Andy cry after he comes? <laughs> I wouldn't know. He never, I never allowed that. Yeah, I, didn't think, I didn't think you knew the answer to that. Now, let me... He probably does that. I mean, with his hands. And, and I know he, you know, well. I think he probably whatever. does. He cries I, after he comes, but not after he I mean, yeah, aborts I, his I, child. He yeah. doesn't cry about that. But we'll, Oh, I don't. Set me off. We're well, going to get to that. No, no, no. We're going to get to that. But let's, let's do it in order. Uh, how did you first hear Aworski in the first place and, and, and find him and kind of um, get into his orbit? I was never in his orbit because I don't know that because that applies I'm an orbiter, which I'm not. Um, I know you weren't meaning it like that. No, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I, didn't mean I know it like you that. didn't. I, yeah. And I know you didn't. I yeah. just want to be That's very fine. clear on everything because they're going to take anything and make it. Do you know what I mean? No, no, you're I right to do that. To you're right to do that. I didn't mean it like that. I just no, mean... I, I, I said straight away. No, I know no. you didn't mean it like you're that. You're fine. You're fine. Um, but yeah. that's. And certain words have negative connotations yes, when right. they're trying to describe things, you're you know. Right. And but, but my retarded brain's figuring this out. It's a bit weird, isn't it, in real time? Also, are you understanding me? Okay, I want to make sure the end yes. everyone here can understand you me. You sound okay. lovely, and Worski totally dropped the ball for the meth or uh, I think that's obvious to anybody. Um, but yeah, how did, how did you first stumble upon him? Okay, so I'm sure it was Worski Live when he was doing Worski Live. Before JF, though, so what was he doing? I mean, sorry, he's screwed over so many co-hosts and shows, and so it's a bit, it gets a bit blurry, doesn't it? Because there's so many awesome. people, because there was a show with, with Geek and there was JF, and, you know, so, but I'm pretty sure it was, wait, when, when you know when 
just before Chris Walsey left. Yes. So I, so it was the very end of like his and Chris's it, when they were doing actual, you know, creative okay. stuff, which was obviously Chris because Andy isn't creative. So he just, you know, moves on to the next one person that can be funny or can. And He's then, a leech. You know, claps like a seal and laughs. So yeah, I, it gets a bit blurry. Which, but at Chris was definitely it was at the end of that relationship where he fucked Chris. Over. But I think that was at Warsky Live, the very you know near the start i think yeah okay that's fine that's fine now how did you actually start interacting with warski and it went on for four years now you told me in private there was a couple breaks there so it wasn't four years straight but maybe like yeah, six months and i want to make that clear as well because yeah. i'm not going to lie about anything um it wasn't every single day for four years and it also wasn't a four-year relationship either so it was a it, it's so he followed me on twitter and i don't even he followed me on Twitter first and I followed back because it was someone I watched. But the amazing thing was I'd, I never used to type in chat because it was around the time where, you know, every, if any woman typed anything, <laughs> it was like you were a thought, oh, no thoughts, and like sure. be gone thought, like even if you just type something. And I I just enjoyed listening to shit anyway. I didn't need to be involved. Do you know what I mean? Well, so there's a lot of people who like, listen to this show who don't type. And we love our chat, but there are yeah. plenty of people who just listen. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that's kind of how I am a lot of the time. Um, well, all the time nearly unless like um you know everyone's you know a, a question's been asked sure. and everyone's flooding the chat so no one's going to really notice an extra comment do you know what i mean um so i'm not gonna lie and say i've never typed in a chat a live stream ever but it wasn't you your know, thing to be like a chat person yeah right yeah I no what you're i was just listening to the, the shows i liked and um you know i was normally either doing something because again i have an actual life and uh, you know two children to raise oh Sorry, something else just came in my head because I don't want to forget it. But the stu- another just stupid, pointless lie when he said that my husband left me. Um, and also, you know, this huge whore that I am. Um, I know I'm derailing and I will get back. Sorry. But okay. it's just so many lies have been told about me and it's just insane. But um, that, you know, I was married at 18. I have two children. And yes, I'm divorced. But I, I made it pretty fucking far, further than a lot of people do. And yeah, I, I'm divorced. Like, okay, Main beat clue. me up for it. I don't, yeah, do you know what I mean? Beat me up for it. Hang me. I, like, I don't know what they want from me. But I left. I'm the one that left. And I mean, that's my personal. He's a private person. I'm not talking about the, my children's father. Yes, they have the same father. Because that's another weird thing they've been saying. Like, two baby down. Like, I was with him from a teenager to a grown up. And that's also, I felt like I... I'm not a stupid person, but I feel like, and then COVID happened and it's like, you can even speak to a human if you weren't that like, and th- and I'm not, by the way, as well, I understand with the vaccine um, that people had to get vaxxed or lose their jobs and homes and not be able to feed their kids. I'm not, you know, the, the government forced people. It's like, get vaxxed or lose your job, get vaxxed or lose your house. Like, do you know what I mean? But yes, he, he didn't need to. He sits in his fucking office, or his dad's office, sorry. And, um, you know, makes a show. There's no reason he had that he had to, and he was so anti vax oh, I've never been vaxxed. It's, I, it's these stupid lies he t- tells, and they eat it up, and they believe him. And yet, I knew he had, and I was like, what? You know, things like that. Was, well, I knew why he was doing it. Obviously, you near know, the end, I was like, he's just an absolute fraud in everything, in absolutely everything. He has no actual beliefs of his. He really has no values beliefs it's like um someone i saw some someone said about him being right wing and wasn't i concerned and i'm like right wing like no he's nothing he literally believes nothing he has no beliefs at all whatever he's a zionist now like fuck me like he has no it's just whatever whoever's giving him the most money what their beliefs are are his beliefs He's like a sponge Literally. for money, uh, and yeah. he's always been that way, really. But it's just uh, it's been so, so drastically, you know, apparent uh, with this latest iteration uh, of Andy Worski. And you said it yourself, yeah. Now he's a uh, Zionist for for dollars, uh, and yep, it's it's you know, it's one thing if you really believe that, right? Or you really have yeah, to change okay. your heart, you know, whatever. You're against it, but you can believe it, whatever. Sure, yeah. Um, Personally, I'm sorry, I'm not getting into all my politics. But... No, that's fine. I feel um, you. I think we're probably on the same same wavelength there, but um, all right. So he slid into your DMs, started talking to you. Now, how how hard did he come on originally? It seems like no, pretty, it, pretty hard. See, but, it uh, wasn't. 
no, no, no. See, it wasn't. No, it wasn't originally. Like, okay. it wasn't. Um, this is what I was trying to say on Cog, but I was cut off, so it sounded like I was saying that, oh, he was in my DM saying, fuck me. I was actually trying to say it wasn't like he was in my DMs straight away being like, I want to fuck him, this, that, and the other. Um, and actually, I was trying to be a good friend to him. I was concerned about his mental well-being. And um, so we chatted a bit, and then we didn't. And and then it was when, so the, oh, I don't want, and if I say anything, it's not an attack at you, by the way. That's fine. Don't worry about my feelings. I'm tough. I'm not no, Andy I, 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 yeah, I'm yeah. just a nice person, Ralph. No, like, that's fine. I, like, I'm just a, Just give it to I'm us just, unvarnished. Just, don't worry about my feelings. Just give us your whole okay. experience. So it was that. So I'm going to laugh though because it is kind of funny. I'm sorry, Ralph, but not. It's fine. Sorry. It doesn't bother me. I told you this off air because they had I some know, tweets and I thought, to you, you and you were joking funny. about me or whatever. That shit doesn't bother me. I want the unvarnished. Because I truth. find things funny, but it's not because I hate someone. It's sure. just some things are funny sure, online. And some of the things it's not like I find, have to laugh at. find tweets where I've obsessively tweeted about you or anybody. I haven't. I've responded with a stupid gif or a few times ever. Like it it's like someone said, "Oh, get that. off Twitter." and be a mum and it was like someone stuck up for me and said wait her account I don't know how they found out how many tweets but they said her account was created you know 10 years ago she's only made she hasn't even made 2,000 tweets I think she's been being a mum <laughs> do you know what I mean like I'm not on <laughs> on that you know and it's not like leading up to this I was on there all the time even tweeting him you know I, I, I'd liked a couple of tweets of his because obviously we were talking and stuff Um, you know I'd like but it's not like a thing going back years and it's a constant thing and like no one could have they don't exist <laughs> but yeah the night that I really got concerned and we had already spoken before but again it was he wasn't right in this period of time and I was actually con concerned um and it was it it was the night <laughs> sorry it was the night in Miami where Sorry, all I can. All we talked about this already. It won't bother me. We are. We already talked about this, and I know exactly okay. what you're talking about. But go ahead. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's funny. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. It doesn't sorry. bother me. Night in my army. Well, well, sorry, all that's in my head right now is failure chasing him down the road. <laughs> right. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it was the night when it was the night where a fan, I think, paid to come and throw ice. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. That's right. Come that, no, it did, you the whole thing's hilarious <laughs> because they this Chinese guy <laughs> sorry, paid this money to come <laughs> so and be a, no it's fine I'll explain it to people so this Chinese guy came I need uh, to meet myself when some stupid he was like a special guest or whatever because he had paid this certain tier on our fundraising thing for the trip and so he was at the apartment I was passed out I was fucked up asleep and they said hey why don't you throw some ice on ralph while he's asleep which honestly that wouldn't have bothered me right like that's an old school prank except the guy didn't fucking speak english very well and he couldn't he just grabbed the whole bag of ice which if you don't drop the bag of ice on the ground it doesn't break up right so it's just like a fucking concrete block uh and he threw this ice block at me and bopped me with it i, th I think it might have even hit me in the head while i was asleep uh, and so, and I went to sleep kind of fucked up too. So I got up in a rage, right? Cause I just got, it's like somebody hit me with a baseball bat or something. Right. Uh, and he took off running like ninja style. He just disappeared like Homer Simpson, you know, into the fucking bushes. And I did see him later on, but I think he was always scared of me after that. Cause he thought I was going to snatch him up. I wasn't, but, um, well, he left, um, you know, there was all these people scattering everywhere. Worski went into his room, which was the secondary room. I had the main, the nicer mm -hmm. room because I'm me. And I went in there and shut the door. And I said, All look, right. Andy, we need to talk. It was kind of a stern voice, but I wasn't yelling. I was like, look, Andy, we need, to, we need to have a fucking talk. Like, this trip's going off the rails, dude. Like, we need to figure this out. And he literally got down in the corner in the fetal position, I'm not kidding, I've told this story many times, and started yelling at the top of his lungs, please, Ralph, please, Ralph, no, 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 you have yeah. to open the door, you have to open the door. And there's recordings of this, just not the, like, because failure's out in the hallway uh, pointing his cam camera at the ground. And yeah. so there's audio of this, and then Worski got on a call after, and he's crying about it to dispatch, literally crying <laughs> on the phone. Uh, and so this is I the incident. This is the incident she's talking about, by the way. Now you can go sorry, back. And I'm sorry to bring that up. No, I'm no, not it's funny. A, I mean, I laugh I at it myself. I'm I mean, sorry. Yeah, 
And I can see why you would think he wasn't in the right mental state because he completely had a breakdown and he thought I was going to rape him or some shit, I guess. Like, I don't know. It was, it was oh, insane. I can't, I've got to compose. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I need to compose my, no, sorry. So, <laughs> right. So at the time I was, again, it wasn't a romantic thing. <laughs> it was, um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm it's funny. Visions of him running away and him crying and screaming. <laughs> I, but at the time, I was concerned. I was really concerned, and I actually messaged that very night saying, "I, re I don't think that was." Sorry, I'm laughing now, and I sound evil. But at the time, no, I was it doesn't. It's hilarious. Really, don't I worry about laughing. laughing. It's no, funny as fuck. I, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I'm not used to uh, this. Isn't me? I'm not an evil person. I, like <laughs> this is well, why. He at the is, time. So don't feel bad. Now go ahead. <laughs> At the time, so it was that night, and I messaged, and I said, I'm really concerned that the, the fact you reacted that, the, the fact you reacted that way, it's some, like that you've got some sort of unresolved PTSD or something. I don't know why you'd react like that, but I'm concerned that you're not in a very good place mentally right now. And obviously, people know, I, you know, I'm not going to say it, but what I've studied and what, you know, so... I think any anybody, whether they've, you know, with a middle school education could tell that that's not a normal reaction anyway. So it doesn't matter what I've studied. But, um, you know, I, I was just saying to him, I'm really concerned that something bad's going to happen. Like, and I was, and I was right. Aim, aim, aim happened. So, you know, you were I was ball. right. You were on the ball there. Um, it was a friendly thing still. At that, right, it, wasn't he, it wasn't romantic romantic. is what you're saying. Yes, no, yes. no. Now, no, 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 no. now take and, us take us a little bit further down the line since you mentioned aim aim aim. Um, were you in contact? Did, yeah, were you in contact with? I don't know if I find that funny because he fucked Alex over. Like he did all of that and then just fucks off and leaves Alex to deal with all this shit. Who had been staying in this house with his disabled? I don't want to bring Alex into it and his private stuff. But what you know, he was staying in Alex's house. You know, not paying. That like, he got so drunk one night he completely trashed and had to be held down. You know. So, trash yeah. his house that he was staying at for free, by the way, for those yeah. who don't know. Yeah. Yes, yes. And he was guess, homeless. He yeah. had nowhere else to go in the United States. No, he didn't. Yeah. No. And I, I, th I think Alex is a genuinely not decent person. And um, I'm glad he got out from uh, out of under his bullshit and, you know, and all of that as well, because it was really messed up. And there's so many innocent people that have just been well, fucked over by, you know. Well, for those who don't know, and shout out to Alex. Alex took his girl. Uh, that was the girl Worski uh, thought he was going to be with, and he when we lived together for a very yeah, short I, time. I know. Alex stole his girl. He's Mister. He's Mister. Steal your girl. He took. He yeah. took her right out from under Worski, uh, who has no game, as we've seen, uh, and totally took that right out of Worski's clutches. Thankfully for her. Yeah, and you know, I'm not talking about her again. She, you know, but she. She had to deal with, you know, she knows he's, everyone that's ever dealt with him one on one knows he's a nutter. So that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm not, I don't want people catching like strays and stuff. Sure. Because but I just want to give a little background there. And I like both of them. I'm yeah. Not, yeah. Yeah. No, that, that, yeah. No, that, that, both of them are amazing. And, you know, uh, I, I, that's all I have to say about them. I'm, I'm not trying to bring them sure. into it, but to tell okay. someone the story, I have to like, it's like a point in time, a reference in my mind where it's like, that was happening. This was happening. Do you know what I mean? So sure. that's the only reason I'm, I, you know, I'm not even meaning to do it. It's just, no, it's no, it's true. Fine. I'm and sure they like, don't mind. They one version of the too. truth. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, there's one version of the truth. So, you know, my, because I'm doing it in order and you're allowing me to speak, my, I'm trying to, you know, say things how it happened. And there's only reality you know for me anyway obviously not for him because he, all he's done is lie about me so um i just yeah well that's what we're doing now isn't it clearing it up so now okay so after miami did you talk to him during that time and when did it kind of shift into you know we've all seen the text and we have some more today <laughs> if we get that goal uh and i'll probably show some of them anyway at least a couple um the vax one was the main one and we'll go through that too in a bit but yeah uh, and again with the vax thing i understand that some people had to he was sat in wait, his wait. parents house no hold on and we'll, didn't have to yes i agree and we'll get to that i just i just want to stay on the timeline here um Okay, so Miami's happened, uh, or excuse me, not Miami, but uh, it was another part of Florida. I think it was Clearwater, Florida, the AMAMAM incident. And 
Mm. So you were worried about his mental health around this period, around the Miami yeah. period, for good reason. Oh, well, from was... from Miami till, I, and I was right. Like I was literally like something. I'm worried something's going to happen. You know, um, and and it, yeah, that's what I was. That's how I started. That, so that, that, when did it, it? When did the tenor of the conversations kind of change? Was it around this time, or was it later? No, later. All right. Well, it was even later because we. I think we we. And he disappeared off. You've got to remember, he disappeared completely from everywhere. Um, not straight away, but not. It wasn't. It wasn't too long after. Too long after. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. And he completely disappeared. So that was one of the times we were, weren't in contact. And again, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm not making out this is something bigger or smaller. I'm just giving the truth of everything, like, my situation that happened. And um, so when he disappeared, he came back. I wasn't spamming him, messaging him. Um, he came back and he contacted me as soon as he came back. I was like, obviously, I had to take a break and I, I'm sure you understand why. And he he messaged me straight away. It wasn't me, you know, messaging him, where have you gone? Um, or anything like that. And that, that, you know, he messaged me when he came back and had a new person to leech off. And it was, oh, was it what? wasn't the like was it no it's it was Kyler. when he was with Ky Kyler yeah. and yeah let's see I even remember because it I was you know around and he Kyler was he used to regularly and... nod out on opioids by the way yes uh, <laughs> on the stream I'm sure he's on opioids yeah. right now and hopefully he takes a, a big dose uh and he'll disappear too uh, that would be I'm not I'm not no you don't I, have to I'm say not, that I'm speaking I'm for not, myself I'm, I'm speaking no, for I'm myself not. he's a waste of space um but that's just my personal opinion not hers by the way but um, it's weird because he used to he actually mentioned my name um, he used to mention my name on that show and he also used to want so I'm oh, fuck. I haven't looked at the, the see he's scrubbed so much shit but he can't scrub the um, original snaps now I, again I didn't use Snapchat and I didn't know at the time that I could save like hold down the message and save them all yes. so like I, so some of them aren't there some of them are that he saved in the chat or, so that's but so I do have some of them from and it's from all around this time now we're talking but obviously he can't get into that and delete them because he forgot his password he didn't but um so whatever and he made another snap when he couldn't get back in that one anymore and you mean me the one and, he was creeping on a 17 year old girl on yeah. is that what you mean yeah, yeah. and obviously yeah. I didn't know this information I have children I would never have it would never have turned into anything romantic. Um, and that's what I was attacked for as well. Like, you know, well, why would you, you know, it was, oh, well, why would, you know, well, you know what I was attacked for? And it sure. was just, do you it think if hard. I knew that, yeah. I would have, I would even speak to someone like that, let alone as a mother of two daughters, like, fuck off. Like, try, they, they, but they've, they've, all the Janny's, all the, all the brooms have been out and narratives have been spun. And anyone that believes him and wants to do that for him, they've made their mind up anyway. And nothing I say, which is all the truth, by the way, is going to change their opinion. So I don't really give a fuck anymore. I, honestly, I was so worked up. And it was good, I, you know, over the weekend to just, I was offline. I just needed to just be away from it and, and process that crazy 24 hours and the interview all of it happened in 24 hours and like I said eight of those hours I was in a hospital having tests done you know I was just trying to process and you no, know it's, it's like wow this is a lot to deal with it's a, a lot for anybody to deal person. with me included now I'm used to it uh, at this point but even sometimes me you know uh, in February the people watching now know I took a little sabbatical to get my head right get my life right uh and came back i've been back ever since but you know sometimes even for me <laughs> an, an old pro at this uh you know you have to step back uh, a little bit and they're gonna lie they're gonna throw shit out there and you just have to put that to the side oh, they're gonna say that i'm yeah. trying to bring this up again because i want attention and that's why did i leave it to, like sure. today you know what i mean and all that yeah. i know what it's gonna be yeah, but it's literally because I needed to step back, step away. I don't want it affecting my action. You know, I don't want it affecting me. I've got two children to raise. Oh, no, sorry, I don't raise them, do I? I don't look after my kids. But <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's all that bullshit. Though. You know, I actually, so I wasn't online at all at the weekend. I was, I just wanted to try and process what had happened like a normal human and, you know, deal with it and forget about it, really. <laughs> all right, now, now let's. And also to myself, I hadn't. Because I, you know, like I said, I haven't. It's not like I um was telling my family, my siblings, my 
you know, ab- about him. So it's not like I've ever been able to speak to anyone because, again, well, I they don't know anything about another, it. Any other creator, yeah. Any other creator either. So you know, it's not like I. So even for me, it's the first time I've said any of this out loud. Obviously, I don't speak. To, I'm not schizophrenic, so I don't. You know, I I don't have these conversations with myself, do I? So it's saying things out loud as well for someone else. Like, wow. I was also he knew how long I'd been with one man for like my whole adult life <laughs> you know he he knew that as well so knowing that and I I was like pr- things were just processing I was thinking about these things and it's like wow actually you know I he knew I was with my husband you know at 18 um, I got married and then I had my girls young yeah at 21 and 23 that's why they're teenagers now when I'm the same age as him um, but I was married before I had my kids and then I had my children and then, um, you know, was with him for another decade. So it's like I was with one person for all those years. And then, yeah. Right. <laughs> so and then I, I feel like he used that a bit. I, I, I don't know. No, it's cool, a lot. It's cool. I'm still trying to process a lot of it. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Let's get back to the timeline. On it. And I, I don't like cutting people off. So I'm letting her get her whole story out there. Yeah, sorry. And I, I'm probably rambling. A no, lot, no, no, it's, it's fine. It does a lot. No, it's, there's a lot there and there's a lot you want to say. And this is the place to say it. And I, I don't mind you know, rambling, quote unquote. Um, but, but I want to get back to the timeline just a little bit. I have these questions. Yeah. Um, so when did it shift into, you know, him, you know, hitting on you basically and trying to be romantic with you. And we've all seen the text where he declares his love for you and says he wants to move to Europe and move over there to be with you. And I have some other mm-hmm. stuff uh, that I haven't put out yet. Just discuss our future w- and all this stuff, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, so that would have been in, and I don't want to say any date wrong. Cause they'll, you know, oh lawyer. Um, that would have been in, 2022 okay so, so it's changed. but you were talking to him for a long time before that yeah two two years before well, in 2019 okay um so when it changed like what i guess how did it change uh and was it was it rapid um you know how quick, yes yeah go ahead so Sorry, I didn't mean to. No, that's fine. Sounded aggressive, man. No, no, yeah, but that's <laughs> um, I, I, it's like someone, someone is understanding this situation, and for the, I feel for the first time heard, you know. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, it was very rapid. It was, it literally was like we were friends for, well, not friends, but well, I was concerned about him. It was like I was his, I don't know, not error because I wasn't physically there, but like emotional crush for that, him basically right yeah, yeah yes and i genuinely did was concerned i'm a genuine person and i you know he would come to me i was I, you know i told you a personal story of why you know i would be concerned about someone's mental health to such a degree um I, when we spoke sure. you know and yeah, you, um you did. so yeah pardon you did tell me that yeah and we don't have to get into yeah i'm oh, sorry i thought you said you yeah. didn't <laughs> no you did um, no you did yes yeah so you you know why I would you know be so, so, but I'm just also a nice person. So when he's telling me that he's not in these good places mentally and stuff, uh, you know I felt res- responsible. Like oh well, if I just fuck up, be like oh well, I don't, I don't care, fuck up. That's just not my nature, you know. So um yeah, but it very it was very a uh, it was a very rapid shift, and it I mean I'm I am kind of dumb, and it, I'm this is where I say I'm I'm highly embarrassed because. I, I don't I don't want all this to be public. It's embarrassing for me that I'm. I, this is the part that does make me a retard is not noticing all the huge red flags, <laughs> uh, you know. And that does make me a retard. Well, he suckered somebody in that cared about him. It's not the first time that that's happened, uh, and it'll happen again. It doesn't make you a bad person. Don't listen to these idiots. Um, you know, you see the audience here. Well, you don't see them, but I see. I'm them not looking. I'm not. Right. I, can't I tell her not to look at I, I But they've all been on your I might, side. I might look after. And, yeah, you can look after. Uh, oh, but, but they're all on your side. That's and, actually. And these types of things happen. Sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say that's actually how I I found out that um, he'd done that mental stream. I know I'm jumping ahead, but I will go back. I'm not going to say anything about the stream yet. Um, but that's actually how I found out because when the, the first night it was like the audience was all like, "Oh, another e thought fucking e attention." Not your audience, and then the so night, but yeah. <laughs> I saw yeah, and I don't care. But I'm just saying. And then the, the reason I found out he had done the mental 
really really long stream about me was because um because I saw so I was watching the show and I, I like everyone was being nice about me in your chat and I was like what's happened because <laughs> I I hadn't seen that stream I didn't know anything had happened I was, and I was thinking why is that what why why are they being nice or like chatting to you know, and I, I appreciate that very much <laughs> from everyone. But I was, I did, I was confused. Cause I didn't know what happened, and then I saw you playing clips, and I was like, "What?" And that's how I found out he'd done that stream. So yeah, and I, and you're telling me since then everyone's been supportive. So you know, yeah, and they have. And, and the first night, and again, I didn't know you either, and I hadn't talked to you. Uh, and it's different. I, I told you this, and it's like, well, it's different. You know, you're just commenting on a drama obviously involving somebody I dislike. Uh, I don't know your background. I'm yes, info, yeah. this info and I was an escort. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. That, that was the framing uh, <laughs> at first and you're not, uh, but that, that was the framing. No, at I first. never have been. Right. But you know, all this stuff's just pouring in and it's like a drama. No, thing. I know. I know. And, and I, then, I don't, and then I talked to you and I was like, look, you know, I want to actually get to the truth of this. You know, if I'm mistaken here, I want to correct the record. And so, you know, I shifted my, because I'd actually talked to you and realized that you weren't crazy. You weren't some escort. Okay. You just got caught up with this guy who had taken advantage of you, uh, right? Uh, taken advantage of your kindness. And so I, I really wanted to get your story out there. And this is why we're doing the interview. Um, so, yeah, between the first and second day, uh, it, it definitely changed in, in my presentation, too, because, you know, I learned some new things, right? Um, and yeah. that's how it should be. <laughs> right? uh, and exactly. You don't know me from shit. And I'm not a believable women person. So I don't expect anyone else to be either. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, but when you did find out, you you let everyone know. Do you know yes. what I mean? So I I appreciate that. And I don't I'm not mad at you know how it, you were at first because you you don't know me at know. all like why right. would you be any different i didn't know, know but i still so, should have been a little more careful um but no, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a believable women person like i'm not mad at it is what i'm saying but i was I, what i'm saying is that i noticed that's how i found out about he, that he'd done that yeah. live stream yeah, yeah because of the shift in tone of everybody and i was like what's hap what's happening <laughs> what's happened here <laughs> and no. then i saw the, the clip you, you'd played and i was like what the fuck i was so shocked and i thought to myself wait a minute um he's he's like it doesn't even make sense he's at first i was someone he flirted with once and then ghosted then it was oh i'd i'd do it all the fun it was a fun game like i but we weren't we didn't we didn't flirt at first at all for, for a, the first two years <laughs> do you know what i mean so right. um well he would flirt maybe but it wasn't like a I'll call it like a re relationship, quote unquote. Do you know what I mean? So sure. it, even saying that is weird because that isn't even the truth. He it, he wasn't flirting with me and then and ghost it. Oh my god! And, uh, he, no. Reading one of my things out, um, my m messages, quote unquote, again because it wasn't. And he was it was a message I'd sent, but he was changing like every other word. I've never written ghosted in my life. Maybe one of my teenagers has, but <laughs> I've I've never ever messaged him saying, why have you ghosted me? That is just an absolute fabrication. And he was reading this out loud. Why didn't he screenshot it and put it on the screen? He's good at OBS. Why didn't he do that? And show that I said, why have I been ghosted? I know I've never used the word ghosted ever actually until now, because I'm saying it a lot. <laughs> but I mean, like, in, you know, to a person, ever. I mean, I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? I mean, but that was the small... It, it just kept changing as well. And why on earth, if, if I was just some random twat that, you know, you'd flirted with and then ghosted, why were you talking about me for eight hours and lying about me? It was a, such an overreaction that anyone with a brain surely would have been like, wait a minute, something's going on here. Why is he going so hard at someone he flirted with and ghosted? Do you get what I mean? Yeah, like, if it's no big deal, then, brain. you know, maybe make a couple, yeah. you know, lines <laughs> for Worski. Maybe do a couple lines about <laughs> 16 it. 16 lines. Yeah, 16 <laughs> lines about it. Uh, oh, and then, then move on, right? Uh, instead, he went on this tirade. He wished you dead, he, knowing that you've yes, that, been a oh, cancer survivor. Made me mad. Yeah, I could imagine. Not even for me, but wishing what my children don't have a mother anymore. That was what makes me mad. That it's, it's always, you know what I mean? It, it's not even really, I'm not even too mad that you wish me dead, whatever, wish me dead all you want. But it's the fact that he knows. And it's someone, I'm not just some person that he's never spoken to that they're taking the piss out of. And, you know, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not just some random that he's never spoken to. I'm someone that he's spoken to for a long time. And then 
that he's spoken to intimately and that we had that period of time and that he he's wishing my children don't have a mother anymore that's even more sick do you know what i mean <laughs> well it's sick as hell and i told you this in private it's not like it's a rival streamer or you know somebody out there uh, yeah, you know going yeah, personal on exactly. you it's somebody that he was friends with for a couple of years romantic interest quote unquote for you know a year or so whatever uh knows you know personal details about your life knows that you have two daughters yep. um no oh, we know we all heard him threaten to dox me yes he, Father th dox he, me. he threatened to dox yeah. you um and the things he said about your daughters in that video as well very cool creepy uh, um about staying at your house and how that might be yeah, weird when i backed off that's like, when you backed off like uh -huh. now yeah and and i'll recap that for people who don't know or didn't see the video the other day he sent her a video i was like hey i'm enjoying my tacos and steam deck and oh, i wish i could ravage you i hope that doesn't sound rapey and then he also said this was the thing that stuck out to me and i think anybody who's had any any kids or just even you know their their family has kids right their brother whatever um he said oh you know i don't know if I, if we could if i could stay at your house maybe maybe that would be weird and you know da da da, da because of your because your daughter, because my gut, because your daughter's yeah. in there, and it, it wasn't and even was, just was oh like, maybe we should get our own. Place. It, it was the way, yeah, it was the way he said it. Oh. Yes, yes, it wasn't like it, oh maybe we should get our own place because you know it's our first time meeting to see if this is going anywhere. It was like it was already on his mind. Uh, you know, he was titillated by the idea of you having daughters. It, it, that's how I took it, right? Um, which it, is sick. The way he said it, and also I would never have a man around my children until I knew it was a serious relationship i wouldn't go on three dates and bring a man home i wouldn't go on 10 dates and bring a man home what the f fuck are you talking about you're talking about staying for two weeks i've never met you in person what the fuck what no you're not staying in my home no absolutely not <laughs> no that's not happening and it was like, like i said what? it was totally creepy uh and i could imagine uh backing off after hearing something like that because just even me just hearing it on air and i'm like uh, and especially in the same video thing and i don't know how to say this without sounding rapey I know! in the same video and you know how he summarized that video in that mental live stream about me he said oh and she thinks she's got this big exposed thing and it's just me like basically saying hey want to hang out sometime that's how he summarized that fucking whole video it's just, it's it's sick, honestly, and knowing his history of creeping on teenage girls as well. It's, it's like it was something that was on his mind, like a normal person. Yeah, why would, yeah. yes, it was the way he said it. I, oh, I wish, I wish, I, I don't even got the audio. It's just, I, it's the way. You know what? I do it. have the audio. Uh, keep talking, finish your thought, and I'll play it for those who, who didn't hear it. But go ahead and finish your thought. It's the way it was said. It wasn't even like just, it wasn't like he was saying it in the way that I'm, meaning it like i'm a mother like he was making sure that he wasn't staying with me it like as in oh i'm guessing you wouldn't want me to stay because you have kids it was it, it was the complete opposite like yes. he was asked he was assuming that he was going to stay and then and mentioned my daughters <laughs> and then he went into oh well maybe we'll get an airbnb because he knows how protective i am of my girls and he also knows that i've never had another they've never been They'd never, they'd never seen me with another man apart from their father. So why the fuck would I bring someone that I've never met into our home with my daughters? Right. And like it, he, or so that's when he sort of changed in the video and said like about, oh, or, or we could get an Airbnb because he knows I wouldn't have liked that. Like, but he's correcting. He's trying to edit himself in real time, but he didn't need to send that video. He sent it. He sent it though. Like he, he was trying to edit and make it sound normal straight away after that. But then but then he still he sent it. So even though he said it himself and he was recording himself and it was just him talking, there was no one. It's not like a conversation we were having and it, it got you know misconstrued. It was him speaking his mind to his phone, which apparently he doesn't know how to use a phone or what it's for, apart from to which use Twitter. Also sounded um, ridiculous. As he's using it to film, by the way. The whole so thing. So he is doesn't know what he uses shit. it for. Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't know what he uses a phone for while he's using it to film to send me a video. Um, but okay. Um, <laughs> it was just, sorry. And he's always it's talking creep crazy, shit uh, about, you know, child porn and, you know, fucking kids and all this shit. Like, I, I, it, it's just really weird. I'm going to play this audio. Now, you won't be able to hear it. Uh, but it's it's about three minutes. And I just want people, because this will be clipped out, uh, and I want this to be uh, and this was, in the this was in This was in January last year. Okay. You, and... Um, and we stopped talking in January last year, the end of January last year. Um, and this was like literally around that time. And I've sent you other 
you know, we have some so other stuff too. Uh, it, when we stopped talking, if we, if we get and I, I haven't lied about that. And he said I messaged him a year later, which would have been the end of January this year. That's a complete fucking lie. Well, obviously, because he, he just lied about everything. Like, show the screenshot, Andy. Doesn't exist. Doesn't fucking exist. There's no messages from 2024. There's no messages from late of 2023. Like, sc- screenshot and show them. And I see. Show them. And 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 I'm gonna play this. It's about three minutes. If you need to get a drink of water or you know anything like that, you can do that. But I want to read this in chat before I do. Anonymous uh, 8814 okay. uh, in the chat says this is legit. How pedos gain access to kids? Single moms are the best target by far. And he's not joking. Yeah, well, not me. He picked on the wrong one. Well, he's right. Yeah, I'm <laughs> glad. My kids. Uh, but that, no that's way. absolutely true, though. Uh, it does happen. Yes. So, yeah, that um, does happen. They see them as a target, and it's easy access to kids. And, you know, it's, it's definitely a thing. Um, all right, I'm going to play this. It's about three minutes. I just want it as part of the, cl- you know, this will be clipped out and posted elsewhere, I'm sure. I'll post it myself. Um, so I just want this on the record. If you need to get a drink of water or anything like that, and we'll get to the rest of the questions because I have several several more. Uh, and I want to talk one? about the abortion. Not that you had, obviously, you uh, did, but that he had. No, I've never, I never would and never have, no. Right. Uh, but... Uh, Sorry, I'm sp- mad. I am mad about that. Well, and we'll situation. we'll talk about why because we talked about it off air, but they haven't heard uh, what you know about it. And I'll go through that. Uh, uh, I'll go through that next. But let me play this. You won't be able to hear it, uh, but it's the three minute okay. video. It's two minutes fifty eight seconds. If you need to get a drink of water okay. or, or snack or anything like that, um, you can do that. Right? Yeah, I need. To drink. Yeah, go get, yeah. go get a drink of water uh, and come back. It'll be three minutes. I, I will be here. I'll literally. Okay, that's yeah, fine. I, I know. Yeah. You just won't be able to hear it. Is all I'm saying. So I'll, I'll be silent. No, that's and, yeah. uh, it's three minutes and I'm going to hit it right now. Hey, what's going on, babe? Uh, I'll start setting more videos. I know I've been really bad at that. I've just, I've never done that really, you know, but I'll do, I know what makes you happy and all that stuff. And I want to make you happy. And I know I've been fucking super busy literally every day, three hours to five workout doing like five hours of um, show prep. The editing for yesterday's show took me like 15 hours. Like it was insane. Anyway, uh, excuses, excuses. I'll try to be better at it. But I wanted to, oh, first of all, look at this chill day. Steam Deck. Then to watch a movie. I had got tacos. Come on, that rules. Uh, I wish you were here though. That would make it like 10 times, no, not 10, a million times better. I want to offend you with only saying 10 times. You are definitely 10 times better than tacos. Okay, times is like exponential of like a hundred. So I'm not trying to be offensive. <laughs> Sorry, I'm go- goofy as fuck sometimes. All right, so I wanted to ask you, babe. So do I want to go to England to visit you? Now, I'm going to take a week off. I'm going to tell Ashton go like maybe in March. Or something, or February. We'll do February. I don't, I don't know. You let me know when you're you're available. But I'll take a week off, and then I'll fly there like on this like Saturday. I'll leave <clears throat> on Saturday type thing, like right after the show, so I can do a show. And I can leave, and then I know I've got like a, two weeks to not even think about the show, which rules. Um, but do would I stay at your house? I'm assuming I would, but I don't know if it would be weird because your daughters are there and I'm new and, you know, we're just meeting for the first time. So maybe we'll just do like an Airbnb. I don't know. Uh, you let me know and we'll plan it out. And yeah, now that you have Discord, I'm, I'm on Discord when I'm working and stuff. That's the easiest way to message me. I hate the phone. I hate the way it rings. I hate, I've always hated the phone. I don't use my phone. Except, I don't even know what I use it for. Twitter. I use, my phone is a glorified Twitter machine. Okay? (laughs) Anyway, you look really beautiful, by the way. I wish I was there. I would uh, ravage you. I would, uh, I don't know how to say this without sounding rapey. But you know what I mean. I would hold you, kiss you, and all that good good stuff. Uh, And I'm sure you do the same. All right, <laughs> let me know. Now, there's there's Worski's message. It ended up with he would ravage you, which means rape you, actually. Uh, ravish uh, is the actual term. Yeah. Um, if, if you 
don't want to talk about raping someone. Um, and he's actually admitted to rape on air. I don't know if you knew about that. Um, until I only no, I didn't until I've seen the clip now. Yes. Yes. The the stealthing incident. He thought it was funny. Yes. He thought it was funny. Um, that, he thinks that, he thinks everything like that's hilarious. Apparently, yeah. No. Amazingly hilarious. Another <laughs> thing he he thought was funny. Uh, was forcing oh. his girlfriend Sinead into an abortion, uh, and that whole story mm -hmm. is completely dark. Uh, if, if you don't know, he forced her into abortion. She didn't want to get one, uh, and then after he's sitting there playing uh, Mario Kart or not Mario uh, Mario World or some shit or Grand Theft Auto, I don't remember the exact game, but he's sitting there playing the game and he's yelling at her to keep her crying down because it's distracting him uh, from his gameplay. Now, did you talk to him about this? And I'll, I'll give some background oh i coaxed him onto the show last year and acted like uh, you know i'll be cool and i was cool for a bit until i roasted him but one of the things i asked him was you know because i th i thought he had to deep down feel some type of remorse about this right and i said man to man uh you know this abortion thing like that has to fuck with you right and he told me on air directly that it didn't and started laughing about it then and you know part of me even then was like well he might just be saying that for public consumption right you can't give people anything and you know maybe that was his mindset yeah uh, but according to you that was not his mindset and i'll let you tell the story oh god so i yeah so i told you obviously but um obviously that was my thinking as well and i didn't know that he'd thought i didn't know this stuff obviously it was it came out during kino casino starting you know about that and um i did bring it up to him you know and you bought you did the t-shirt saying a bought ski yes yeah so um to me it's like okay i i kind of think well he can't cry on air can he so he's got to just play into this shit right that's what he's do doing and that's what i assumed he was doing and he's not going to give anyone anything because then they can use it against him he, he can either cry or play into it and he's just he has to play into it because what else can you do right but no he wanted to make his own t-shirts profit off it and thought it was actually hilarious in private even uh, and that's why I wanted in, to... no, that's what he said to me that's yeah personally one-to-one -one, not not yeah now, Which, how do you think something funny. like that or, is funny uh, raven like that's just... it's not it's sick I, you know, no remorse for it whatsoever. And we talked about this in private. You know, he, he could have some type of, even if he didn't break down crying about it, he could, you know, treat it a little more seriously. It's not a sick have... joke. It's not like yeah. a, you know, that's what I mean. It's not like some just a joke for the show because he has to play into it. Like, this is a conversation that I was asking, you know, I, that I could was trying to clarify that, you know, at one point. And he was like, no, I'm going to, design my own t-shirts and make you know to profit off of the situation and then also you know he said he, he was going to make his own t-shirt to rival yes, mine yeah okay yes yeah because you were you know you've done the abortski t-shirt and um that yeah he was gonna make his own <laughs> um and that yeah he, he didn't he doesn't he doesn't care it's not some sick joke it's not it's not having to play into it because what else can he do? He's not going to cry on the sh show and give all the people that hate him, you know what I mean? That he can't give anyone anything, which is what I thought it was. You have to play into things sometimes, you know, like me playing into being a retard and a whore, you know, because I know I'm not. But um, no, he genuinely really doesn't give one flying fuck about that whole situation. He actually does think it's funny, which is Disturbing, really to say the least. Upset. Well, uh... it, I can't, I just can't with that. Cool. Uh, completely disturbing. Um, now, uh, also the Abortsky shirt. Uh, I'll, I'll show that for those who don't uh, remember the Abortsky shirt. Um, my store has models on it now. I didn't realize that they that they had added that to the <laughs> to the store. Sorry. So I there's this guy in sunglasses <laughs> wearing the Abortsky shirt. Or gal. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, there's Liana's boyfriend there, uh, ex-boyfriend sporting the the Aborski shirt as well. Wow, he looks snazzy uh, in his Aborski gear. Holy shit! Wow, I didn't know he was a Ralph Amell as well, but uh, apparently so. Uh, unbelievable. I, I didn't know that uh, he was he was involved with my promotion, but uh, apparently he is. Now, let me ask you about his 
relationship um, with PPP. Obviously, I can't see anything on here. Sure, people, you'll have to go back. Because I'm just this. You're going to get yeah. laugh out of it. I will, I will, I will, and hopefully, and I'll see chat then, and I'll, you know, and I'll see all the, the show, because I will, because again, I, it, you know, it flies by, and then you think, oh God, what, what the fuck did I say? I probably sounded like a fucking idiot rambling. No, you sound fine. Um, you know, you sound fine. Um, okay. Now, what about his relationship with PPP? Because I've heard a few strange uh, anecdotes about that from you as well. I guess, yeah, I know, I'm, again, I'm not going to say anything or just lie to make it look worse because that's not sure. me as a person. I, I know everyone wants me to make shit up and make it juice. I'm just going to tell the truth. That's all I'm going to do. Um, but I just find it strange that, um, so for example, he, so you remember back to, florida that um he he got he was getting a tattoo on like each place on his finger on each place he went um to remind him of florida it was like a palm tree on one finger um anyway so he was getting tattoos and he was planning to like get these tattoos because he was wanting to travel more um obviously after aim and aim that didn't happen so they're all fucking florida related because he didn't actually end up going anywhere else but anyway they I don't understand that. Um, so, PPP is like younger than me and Andy. Yeah, he's in his yes. twenty still, isn't he? I don't. Twenty nine. Yeah. So, okay. I feel like he's been twenty nine forever. But, but okay. <laughs> me too. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't. I feel like he's. <laughs> I have heard that for, for years that he's twenty nine, but I yeah, whatever. I don't he know. He may be older. Um, yeah. and, and and I don't know if people even know about the tattoos on his fingers, but it, try, they'll notice now. I've said it. If they didn't know, um. But yeah, he tattoos on his, on each finger on one hand, um, and they're like all of them that are Florida related. It was meant to be like because he was going to travel around all the states. Remember, that's what he said. Yes. Um, so it was it was going to be like lots of different tattoos on, you know, his body. But ended up just being Florida related, um, because you know Aim, he ran after Amy Aim. But I'm just I know it seems completely unrelated, and people are probably thinking, what the fuck is she talking about that for? It's because um, he was saying to me in, in either Discord, this is why it's so annoying, he scrubbed all that shit. Um, but it might be, again, I haven't been able to go through the year, year and a half where it was a romantic thing on my WhatsApp Yeah, You know what I mean? It's been a lot. There's there's so much there. So, you know, I haven't been able to go through everything, obviously. Um, <clears throat> or anywhere, not even half of it. But um, I searched for words that I knew he'd said so I could send some certain proof to you. Do you know what I mean? Sure. But um, to And also to refute what he's say, been saying about me um, and clear up just the truth. But so, yeah, he, he was saying to me that um, that he really wanted to, you know, it's not a great period of time in his life, you know, and he's got these tattoos on his fingers and he wanted to sort of um, get a tattoo that went, that goes onto his hand and sort of like into a bottom half sleeve, bottom of his arm half sleeve. And obviously he talked, about tattoos, I've got tattoos. Obviously, everyone's seen that now, um, because of, you know the pictures and some of the pictures you put up, some of the pictures other people have put. Um, so talking about tattoos, and then but he's like, but I'm not allowed because PPP won't let me. And I was like, won't let you? What do you mean PPP won't let you? I was, I, was, I couldn't even comprehend this conversation that we were having. And I was like, if you want a tattoo and it's your body, then have the have the tattoo. I couldn't imagine, well, my husband, if he really didn't want me to do something, I wouldn't have done it. If my husband wanted to get a tattoo, he would have asked me, and if I didn't want him to, he would have done it anyway. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have ever told him, don't do it. And I wouldn't have, no, but that's the truth. I wouldn't have said, no, you're not allowed um, to my husband. Um, if he didn't really didn't want me to get something, I wouldn't. But th we were married. So I literally said, Is he your, are you his wife? Like, it, <laughs> it's literally like when I was married, the only person I would have literally... Lit, the, to the only person in the world lit, ever in my life my whole life that could have ever told me no don't get that I don't think I'd like it was my husband when we were married um so I, I don't know how a grown man my age um my my age could um be told by someone in their 20s to not get a tattoo that he really really wanted like he had designed everything and and li and listen and abide by what's being what you're being told not to do by a man that you're living with. I just I literally said, is he is he your wife? Because it that's I, and I said that you know what I just said about my husband. He's the only person that could have ever told me not to get a tattoo. And the, my parents, no one else could have talked me out of getting a tattoo that I 
wanted and then that I have on my body now. Do you know what I mean? So that was just so yeah. weird. I, I still don't understand. So, I can't comprehend why. So how, PPP has final why. call over his body, basically, uh, seemingly, right? Like uh, no tattoo. no. T I mean, that's a very strange story to me, right? Uh, he's a grown man. Uh, like you said, you know, if you want to get a tattoo, maybe if it's your wife, or, you know, she doesn't want you to have it, you you, you think about it. But, uh, you know, some fat ass uh, who sits there uh, and eats, you know, 18 hamburgers in a row, et cetera, telling you you can't have a tattoo. I mean, that would yeah, that would not be acceptable to me. I just I really didn't understand it. And also, um, you know, he he was using religion. Now, you know, my yeah, we've spoken about that, but um, he, you know, he used to be like, look what what PPP used to be, and then what he's doing now. I mean, he what he's gone from being this someone that preached online to a Zionist, but he still throws in this preaching at the audience. I, I haven't watched it for a year, but he then a year ago, <clears throat> um, excuse me, sorry, yes, um, sir. you know, he'd still like go on these preaching in the middle of like the KC, like you know, preaching quoting the bible uh, and it's like oh my god it makes you want to vomit it's like again just using that for money you've sold your soul at this point ashton just shut the fuck up but how can you use that to tell andy it's it's but andy isn't religious so how, why is he even listening if he's not religious it's just what else is there because it's that's the excuse he gave to me it's because P, ppp was, had told him it's you know it it's not christian but andy isn't a christian so why would he it didn't that didn't make sense to me that that was the reasoning i got that was the excuse that was the explanation he gave well, yeah, he's that, atheist. Doesn't that doesn't even make any sense yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh i don't know just some weird uh... so why would he listen that was that was the reason apparently he listened to ashton but why why cuz you don't believe in the bible so why would you believe in the scripture ashton's quoting at you to not get the tattoo you really want and have designs for <laughs> it's just i think he was worried that if he did it then pvp wouldn't do the show with him anymore and, you know, he wouldn't be able to live in a big boy house. And, well, you know, it's I don't, right. their relationship is very weird because of also because of the boxing situation, you know. Yes, and I'm glad, okay. That was another incident. I'm glad you brought up the boxing situation because I was just getting to that. Um, what? What was it like talking to him during the run-up to the boxing? I know you mentioned that uh, y you've done a lot of boxing. You're a better boxer than Warski, although that's not a... I actually uh, have. I used to be sponsored by a... Yeah, go ahead. I'm not going to say who, but yeah. Um, yes. So you know a bit about boxing, uh, and he doesn't, quite obviously, because he got knocked out in about three seconds or whatever it was uh, by Salt Poppy, one of the greatest moments of all time, uh, if you ask me. But what was his mindset like uh, during the training, and how seriously was he taking that? Um, no, I, I'm not – again, I'm not going to lie about anything. No, don't lie. He, Just he was, tell me what you know. No, again, I'm not – that's all I've done so far. Um but um, he was going to the gym because he would send. Well, actually, now I think about it, all the pictures he'd send. Now, obviously, he was he was going, but all the pictures he'd send were like as he was leaving or when he was telling me he'd got back. So they're always him in gym clothes, saying he was going to the gym, but actually never one in the gym. Now I actually think about it, saying it out loud now. But I'm I, I'm pretty I'm sure he did go to the gym. I'm not saying he never went to the gym, but now I'm just saying this out loud. Sorry, again, it's my brain has had to process a lot of stuff saying all this stuff out loud. But, but yeah, I don't think I actually never got a photo of him in the gym. He would send me them in gym clothes saying I'm leaving for the gym or I'd send it saying I've just got back from the gym. But I don't. Yeah, I really don't. And I'll double check when we finish but I, and I'll let you know. But I actually don't think saying this now, I don't think I ever got one from inside the gym weirdly anyway well you know what i was told <laughs> you know what i was told uh, by somebody else who went to that gym like was a member of that gym that exact gym and they messaged me and they said warski would come in once maybe twice a week half ass some sparring if that by the way some weeks he missed but he did come a little bit and he would do some half ass sparring and basically looked embarrassing uh during that time we all know about the vr uh, boxing training as well that he was talking about doing and um that was about the the only things that i've ever heard of that that he actually did now did he quit doing drugs uh during this time did he take his training seriously no yes. <laughs> 
no, he was smoking weed every day. And obviously, um, about he's like, I'm trying so hard to get abs and all this stuff. Well, you know, after two kids, you know, I, I'm in shape. I actually do go to the gym. And, um, and Pete, you know, his lot, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Because I did, tweet, you know, tweet a bit, and it seems a bit petty, but I, I, okay, maybe I wanted to be petty in that minute. I, you know, this was after I heard the whole interview, had, not interview, the whole stream had done about me, all the lies had told about me. Maybe I wanted to be petty in that minute, so I posted a, a picture of my body on not nude or anything like that. I mean, at at the gym, um, with you no know, leggings on and a top on. I want to say a picture of my body, um, you know, a gym cropped up and leggings and I did post that in a reply on Twitter and I said well this is what you can get when you actually train and you have discipline and you know whatever I wrote on that reply because they were all saying shit and I was a bit petty in that minute but I posted my body because the the um one where it had been screenshot and put on Twitter about him saying about abs and I know Cog's bloody live streams over it where I screenshot it but if you actually look at my reply I was saying abs are one of the hardest things to get and it's mostly about diet um, and it, you still got to train <laughs> as well and exercise in a certain way um, and focus. You've got to do, you can't just do your whole body and hope you get abs. It doesn't work like that. Um, but I was trying to explain like, oh, they're one of the hardest things to get, you you know, and I, in that message, but it covers it a bit. But I think you've got that screenshot. I think you've posted it on Twitter yourself, but yeah, uh, it was. Yeah, I have. It's, I was trying to say that. Right and now, you can't, you can't just, see it, but. Yeah, uh, stoned and yeah. yeah, I can't, I'm not, I, I'll, 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 I'll look at this after obviously but um yeah I was trying to explain you can't yeah and also you can't just get stoned every day and then get the munchies and eat it's mostly about I was trying to explain it's mostly about that's what I was trying to say it's mostly about diet you know because it is especially you can't and also he was telling everyone he wasn't doing any any drugs at all which okay I don't care about weed but when you're again just lying to everybody again i don't care but the vaccine thing you know people had to do it to not be homeless the government's forced people but he didn't he didn't have to do it number one and number two um you know it's just a lie to an audience to get money it's just another stupid lie you know he wasn't also I... like cause no one was asking about that no one was asking oh are you are you do doing drugs or not andy no one was saying that he was just saying it himself he was he was putting the lies out there himself no one was like coming at him oh we think you're doing drugs we think you can we think because i don't think he was doing coke during that time so it was just the, the, the weed again i'm not going to lie about anything but it's the fact that he was going so hard about i've not even smoked weed for this amount of day every show it was like how many days you haven't smoked weed i'm not even smoking, smoking weed so it's like you know he was making it a big thing when no one was even asking him about that and it's just again another just he can't lie, help but you know? lie. Um, and, I, and I have this picture uh, on the screen. I'm pretty sure you could have done a lot better against Salt Poppy uh, than he ended up doing, quite frankly. And uh, we've seen some uh, photos of Liana hunchbacked over, you know, look, looking like she's got a beer belly, although she, she very skillfully doesn't show uh, the beer belly. But we did see the hunchback. Uh, definitely a drastic contrast uh, between the two figures there, if you don't mind me saying. Uh, seems like he yeah, I don't know how, took a downgrade. I was, I, no, I was just going to try and, like I said, when I was trying to be, maybe I wanted to be petty in that moment. But um, the I was trying to see if I, the actual photo I when I was being, or I've got the tweet. Someone made a funny. Um, it wasn't. It, it isn't even that my body was that amazing, and I've just sent it to you. And by the way, okay, I'll check. Um, but it was. It was actually what I wrote with that tweet. I said, "This is what you can achieve," because they were going out. Yeah, me. I see. I'll, I'll read it. I'll read it out. Anybody, anybody so she said this. I mean, I would have lasted longer. I actually go to the gym without being paid a good sum and then uh, also it says that's what being dedicated not on drugs and discipline does it's also my therapy not literally but clear mind uh looking after my body to be able to not die cancer survivor uh like andy worski said uh he would be and after having carried and had two kids as liana wants to bring it up what's their excuse uh is what you said there uh on your tweet yeah that, that's when and I, I know it sounds a bit petty, and they were saying I'm jealous of Liz, jealous of her, and I'm really bitter and jealous of her, apparently. Um, I, I'm so jealous of her, Ralph. I can't bear it. 
Well, looking at this photo, I'm pretty sure she's jealous of you, uh, quite honestly. Uh, it's not even about, I don't mean about even, like, like, look, she's just a psychopath, seemingly. And also, I just love the fact that, thinking about it further, I, I think that if I was talking, all the shit about her would be so much bigger right now. So I think he's actually sort of liking it because it's it's and that's why he did that huge stream to sort of he because he really blew it up himself he was like telling on himself he did this huge stream full of lies about me and now we think about it it's like wait the shit was getting released about her i'm sure pretty sure he didn't know and it's like now now it's become about me and him and people wanting to know this situation and it's like i'm not saying like everyone's gonna forget or, or has forgotten i know it's been covered and but if i if no one knew i existed still um, it would have been such a bigger thing with all of her shit. Do you know what I mean? Sure. What I'm trying to say, I'm, I don't have to word it right. So it's almost like he's probably thinking that oh, it's, this obviously isn't a win for him. But for her, I bet she's kind of feeling that way because it's become about me and him and she can make out I'm some obsessed, crazy, I'm obsessed with her boyfriend and I need to be a mum. Because it's for her, it's making all of her psychotic messages and tweets and nude and all of that stuff from everyone in the commentary community and then she obviously moves over to try and get in the, the sector too i mean she even crossed you know genres there um and <laughs> you know <laughs> sorry but yeah so it's just you know, fucking weird i don't know and when she that's i couldn't help it i just i had a petty moment but it wasn't his was it's not because i'm jealous or bitter at all well she started this and she started talking shit and we did cover it by the way uh on the kill stream psychotic messages to tommy c and there's a lot more stuff out there uh and it'll continue to come out but she's completely unhinged uh she's literally i don't know if you saw this on the show the other day from the meth capital of australia remember i took two days away from the internet i have yeah okay you didn't see it but she's literally from the meth capital of australia not kidding uh, we watched a bunch of videos on that. So uh, oh, I believe, I, I, yeah, a match made in heaven. I mean, look at those her. Two. I mean, she literally has burnt meth lips. Like I, I mean, <laughs> she, the, the thing, is, the thing is, you know, I wouldn't have gone at her. And the funniest thing is, the comment, the very first thing that started all of this was me feeling sorry for. I was like, oh, another one from halfway across the world. Do you know what I mean? I felt, I, I thought, oh, another one. He's but she's actually going. And, do you know what I mean? Well, you felt And then for she's her. like this psycho. Yeah. And then she's actually, do you know what? Every Everything he said about me and the way he's spoken about me, I think he was so coked up, he got mixed up and he was describing her because it, it, literally the things he said about me is just describing her. So I think he got a bit confused when he was coked up his face doing that stream. Which he clearly That's was, the the I can think of. Yeah, he was clearly coked <laughs> yeah. out of his mind uh, during that. Um and uh, you, you have nothing to be jealous about here. Uh, as Chat said, I'm, I'm showing some of this imagery uh, on screen, and she, she's a she's a real piece of work, uh, as Trump would say, uh, a real beauty, yeah. a real beauty, uh, as the Don would say. Uh, there she is, and in, in the hospital. Now you were in the hospital uh, and have been, you know, back and forth for oh, cancer. She was in the hospital for methamphetamine <laughs> abuse. Uh, but anyway, go ahead. And that's another thing where you'd bring that up, being in the hospital. He went in that stream from, he never, oh, she doesn't have cancer. That he, I never knew she was ill. To later in that stream being like, oh, she used to randomly, randomly, by the way, which, yeah, okay, randomly, Andy, whatever. Ran, she used to randomly send me pictures of her in the hospital. like <laughs> saying, It's like, yes, you twat, because you knew I was ill. Like, what? you can't claim one minute, oh, I, I, she wasn't ill. I never knew she was ill. And then be like, later on, because you've forgotten, because you're coked up, say, Oh, she used to send randomly sent like he makes it sound like we were, weren't talking and I I didn't even know him and I just sent him a picture of me in the hospital. Do you know what I mean? It's like all of it is just so crazy. But um to be like later on because he was so high, he forgot that he'd said he didn't know I was ill. Um to say oh she used to randomly send me stuff when she was in the hospital. Seemed like every other month she was in the hospital. Well, of course it was you fucking idiot. I was having surgeries and treatment and you know actual treatment and surgeries and you know like. <laughs> Of course, I was in there a lot. Yeah, that's what happens when you're actually fighting something. And he knew, that, but he'd forgotten that he'd said earlier on that he didn't know. 
because he was so high. So it's just another ridiculous, you know, lie that he that he told on himself later on because he forgot he'd said the opposite earlier on. Well, that's what happens when you so lie high. all the time because you can't yeah, keep exactly. up with the lies. Uh, you know, most people can at least, right? Because he's lying all the fucking time and he can't even keep up with it. Uh, and that's one of the downsides to lying all the fucking time uh, because yeah. you better have a really good fucking memory uh, if you're going to do that, especially in public. Yeah, I don't right? need to remember shit because I'm just telling what happened. But yeah, yeah you, liars have to have a very good memory, and that's, I mean, Andy can't keep up with his own shit, surely. Like, well, he did, couldn't even do that in that one stream, so. Right, well, yeah. And I'm sorry, uh, funny as well, saying that he never understood me. I've sent you a thing that literally is like, I'm listening to your voice right now. Oh, it's, you know, I've sent you a yes. screenshot saying that. It's just, I'm just, and I've, I've not put, like, all these, you know, all this stuff out there. He was saying that I'd shared his dick pic. That isn't true. And I've heard now that his dick pics were leaked forever ago and that he's going to try and use that as an excuse to dox me. did he send you his dick? Yes. Yeah, I figured that. And go, Andy. Go and post a nude of me. Post my pussy. It ain't, <laughs> you ain't got a fucking picture of it. I never sent it, bitch. So put it out there. Put it out there. Post it, post it, post it. It doesn't exist. You ain't got it. You never got to fucking see it. You don't get to see that. You're a bitch. So... Sorry, the reason I'm so angry is because he's saying all this shit about me. It's like I'm saying this, but actually put it out there. I, I I'm give you permission to put my pussy out there because he don't have it. That's why I'm saying it because I it, he doesn't have it to put out there. Okay. <laughs> doesn't have it. Never gonna get it. Uh, I imagine he's like got... I said. Any any anybody that's made a YouTube video, big small, any live streamer, anybody. Because I've never ever, because I haven't. But you know, go on. I'm such a clout. I'm all these things. Please, anybody, if I and I'm talking to creators here, put put your fucking screenshots out there of me trying to, you know, being in your chats and your DMs. Please put them out there. They don't exist, Ralph. But I'm saying it because I know they don't exist. That's why I can make statements like that so confidently because they don't exist. That's why I can address him like that. It doesn't exist. I didn't ever send it to him. Unlike his girlfriend he's so in love with, who he, she sent nudes to everybody, apparently, I'm hearing. And, you know, that's what I'm saying. It was like in the stream, it was like he got confused because he was so high and he was describing um, his love of his life girlfriend that he paid 50 grand for. And um, he got her confused with me and he was describing her instead because, you know, I haven't done that shit. Yeah, her pussy's out there everywhere. You, you don't have to. You don't have to look too hard to find that uh, methyl crusty snatch there. Uh, and yeah, I, I think he got a little confused. Uh, most likely, you know, all the drugs. It's literally describing like her. Yes, yeah. Yes. And that's you know, psycho. You know, doing people didn't even want to see her pussy. Messages. She's just throwing it out there. <laughs> We're like, no, please, no, put that away, man. Please, we don't need that. Uh, and yeah, it, it's everywhere. I. I it's startling the downgrade that he's taken here. Uh, I, I keep talking about it, but uh, wow, he he really is slumming it. Uh, it's it's just. And I don't want to come off like I'm being chub, but she brought up me my kids, so game on, bitch. Uh, you know, I think it's fair play. Like me re replying, and that's the only thing I replied to her. That's the only time I haven't been like constantly tweeting her uh, like she has about me. I haven't um. I haven't, you know, kept posting pictures. I don't think I'm this amazing, stunning, beautiful person. I'm just like, she was slacking me off as a mum. It triggers the fuck out of me. She has to, like, you know, filter, uh, edit a 10 year old profile picture to um, cat. It's literally like catfishing, isn't it, really? And then, you know, you see, like, Oh, it's just insane. All of it's just insane to me. I by the way, I'm, I don't want I'm, you to get I, disturbed by this, but I'm I'm getting some uh, some breaking news. Uh, so, oh God! Now this this is saying that Worski is doxing her right now, sending the screenshot confirmation uh, soon. Uh, which, if you didn't know, um, by the, go for wait. Hold on, let me put, point this out, and I'll let you talk. I, I, you know, this was always something that that could happen, um, and you knew that when when we did this, and you were determined not to let him bully you out of a real interview uh, to put all this stuff out there, especially after well, he, he like, threatened. Yeah, he threatened to, to do, do it. this already. And, um, yeah, and he because he wanted he didn't want me to see, he wanted to scare me into silence. So you know, I I didn't want him to think he could scare me into shit. So you know, 
you know, now he's what he's going to dox where my kids are. Is he? What a fucking scumbag! Well, I don't have the what full a, details on it, but I'll have the screenshot soon because, of course, you know he's being monitored uh, by my people. Oh, would he sad in case I did send his dick pic? Because he's so sad about it. <laughs> sad about his penis. I mean, not me. I haven't sent it to anybody because uh, I wouldn't do that. But he and he knows I wouldn't do that. That's the thing. He know he know. Maybe he's so high he doesn't even fucking actually. You know, he, I don't know where it. He doesn't even know where he is, what's going on, what's happening right now. I think he's, I don't, I don't know why, you know, he acted, he's so, like, he was so scared of what I had to say. Like, you don't react like that. You just don't, it was so disproportionate to the the message I typed in a chat that no one was really there for. Do you know what I mean? It was, no one was there. It was like before the a show had even started, it was such a small amount of people there. Yet he's already there on an alt and immediately starts attacking me on this alt. And then as soon as Kong says, if that's the real Andy, you know, tweet about it. And then he, he did. did straight away. And then did the interview. Kong played the, him the, like a fiddle, crazy. to be honest. I mean, yeah. I don't give him too much credit very he often, but himself. yeah, he played like, himself. And Andy blew right. this up. Yeah. And it's like, and then he did that mental, mental live stream talking about me. And in that, in that, yeah, he threatened to, he uh, he said, "Oh, her name is by the way." And then, um, obviously, I didn't just say my name. I'm just blank, sure. by the way. And then, um, and it, people can listen to it, whatever now. But I'm not going to be promoting it. Um, and then, you know, he, and then he, and then he said, "He's, you know, he's saying things in a threatening way, not directly, because obviously, you know, he's in Canada already." Well, to get apparently, away with it. He he's doxing right. you. Like again, I don't have the screenshots, uh, but I'll have them soon, and they're being edited. Of course, I won't put out any, you know, of your actual information. But apparently, oh, uh, I, like he's doing that. And I just want to say this: it is a crime uh, in Canada to do this sort of thing. His real name is Andy Pires, P I R E S. Uh, if anybody would like to call the Canadian authorities and report him uh, for this criminal act, I would be entirely supportive of such a thing. Uh, doxing, you know, a cancer survivor, single mother. I didn't even care about me. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it's that part. I, I live with two daughters, uh, my two teenagers. So, you know, that's the part I worried about. Plus, it, you know, I, I, I like. thought I thought you didn't matter. I thought the kill stream was dead. I thought nobody cared, right? Like, no, no why one is cares. He, why is and he so I'm a liar. Upset? So why? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why is he? Why, if I'm just I'm nothing and I'm a liar? Why? Why is he? But why is the reaction so disproportionate to anything I've even really said, Andy? Why? What's he so scared of me saying? Why is he so terrified of me? Yeah, and where is Medicare to call this life ruination uh, attempt out as well? Oh, my God. I imagine That's something that came into my head earlier. Yeah, go ahead. Is I remember, I, don't, I hope everyone else does, remember, you know, the Boulder stream where flagging a channel was so fucking disgusting to flag someone and Matt was run off. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it was I know what you mean. Stream. Yes. I, I'm but, very well familiar I mean, it was with a hilarious stream, stream yes. but literally, Oh, it, that, it was the worst thing in the world to flag Andy's channel to have flagged the Kumite. It was the worst thing ever. Yet now doxing's mother, a, a, a mum who isn't a streamer, who isn't on OnlyFans, who isn't a, a creator, who isn't anything. Right. That's that. That's now suddenly just fine just fine and it's fine for all the people that are sweeping up for him that's just suddenly fine i just can't wrap my head around that like it's gone from flagging a channel is the worst thing in the world to doxing and threatening to dox me um is perfectly fine and acceptable i mean wrap your head around that one <laughs> yeah and i i've talked about this extensively and it's not like you know he he's the one who who did all this right he went out there and slandered you on air made up all yeah. kinds of lies about you threatened to dox you you deserve a response and you didn't get a proper one the other day and so i wanted, I to, wanted do it to, write to reply. And, i felt like i had a right to reply yes and you do uh and he tried to scare you out of that and i just want to say kudos to you uh for standing up to a thug like that and i have been scared you know that privately sure. i have been I have, I have been, but you know, I, I'm not gonna let him scare me or into do, not or into doing or not doing anything that he tells me through a threat on his fucking Cokefield life. I'm not, I'm not allowing him to have that control over me and what I do and don't say. You can fuck yourself, bitch. Not you, obviously. I'm oh, talking so... to him directly because he's listening. He's listening. He's listening. He's listening, he's listening right obviously. now. Andy, why don't you call in if you're such a big boy? Uh, why don't yeah, you call on, in? Please, like, come on. 
Yeah, yeah. Why don't you call in? You know how you know how to get in touch with me, Worski. If you're really a big boy, if you're really a badass, why don't so you call in? Oh, he's one of them. Yeah, why don't you call in? You're welcome on the kill stream anytime, you little bitch. Uh, but I won't hold my breath, uh, of course, because he's a pussy. Uh, and to dox, you know, a single mom with two kids uh, just shows how absolutely booty blasted he is by this uh, in the first place. Uh, and you brought it on yourself, Safardsky. Uh, and no regrets uh, for me. And kudos to you for standing up to it. Um, now let me. And I don't like this. Oh, I just wanted not. to correct the record. Like, and I, and especially when he threatened to dox me further because he slightly doxed me in that ten-hour live stream. But to dox me further, um, to fully dox me, should I say? Because um, he was threatening it. You know, um, oh, if she does basically, if she doesn't shut the fuck up, then I know where she is, and I will, I will release it. Is what was pretty much said, wasn't it, in the yes. mental live stream that he did? Um, and that's when I was like, ah, 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 that's what, absolutely not. I'm not shutting up now. I'm, I'm going to speak now. I am. I'm not having him to threaten me to, to into silence. Absolutely not. And I, I then had seen this live stream which again i've told you i didn't know about in this 24-hour mental period in my life where it went from writing one comment in a chat to you know the cold situation that happened within 24 hours you know what i mean so it was yes. a lot for me that was going on and then i saw the live stream after the cock thing so it was so much for me to process and um but yeah i was like no 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 that is not that is not happening you're not fucking silencing me you can fuck off and the fact that he's doing this live first off obviously uh, a huge mistake for him uh but you know he's high on cocaine he's high on medicare puffing him up uh and he thinks he's untouchable and obviously you know i didn't wish this to happen to you but it shows just how fucked up he sick. is it proves everything it's i've been sick. saying about him it's sick as you said also and Liana, i can imagine there's going to be this is your future messages that he's gonna fake sure uh, like he's gonna i'm i guarantee they're coming as well like fake messages that i apparently wrote i can but but on what's on my whatsapp if i delete anything it says you deleted a message it literally sure. says that right on my whatsapp so i i will whatever you know messages he's written and then he's gonna because i can feel because he does that shit kind of shit you know what i mean fake message fake whatever whatever andy because i can literally go to my own whatsapp you fucking idiot and i can scroll and show there isn't a message that says you deleted a message like from on my side i mean like saying that because i can go to the same section and we can compare uh, notes, and i, and I mentioned we? that at the <laughs> top of the show uh what's you know with the 16 lines the 16 unanswered yeah, right, uh, I, yeah. messages Say why I said that. <laughs> yeah well some of his tard guard immediately said well she deleted the messages she said uh, well that's not I how WhatsApp it works it yeah. it'll say what's deleted message like i have whatsapp i use it extensively look uh, at the timestamps please bring them up on the fucking screen obviously yes, that's why i played 16 lines because it was a joke i made to you when we had the conversation yes. it just came into my head i've got teenagers obviously listen to the it, 16 lines because it's literally the 16 messages in a line but the 16 lines because the coke i i found it funny yeah and for those who don't know you. uh all credit uh to raven for that <laughs> actually i didn't come up with that one myself we were we were talking <laughs> yesterday uh and i was like oh yeah you're right that song is perfect and also it's about cocaine <laughs> too so it just it just fits warski yeah. uh to a t now here are the the 16 lines uh, on the screen, which is just perfect, perfect phrasing, perfect sure. phrasing. Uh, so salute Because I call them you. the 16 lines. The first thing yeah. I said was, I wish I would have thought of that. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I normally get, do, I'm normally the one that Yeah, I was like, oh, that's that normally my gig, thinking of something catchy <laughs> like that. Uh, but it was perfect. And there are the 16 lines uh, on the screen for those who may not, to, or just joined us and didn't know what we were talking about. I did reference the reference it earlier in the interview, and the show started off uh, with the song 16 Lines by Little Peep, rest in peace. Uh, Little Peep, I'm sure he's yeah. looking down right now with a giant, giant smile on his face. Right, well, he always had a smile, and I hope, yeah, I, I hope that he finds a woman not being threatened into silence a good thing. Yeah, I think he would. I think he would, too. Um, now, we'll get back to this because, uh, like I said, the, the 
the screenshots are getting put together and they have to be edited, et cetera. Uh, but Worski, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, uh, I have eyes on you. So, uh, just keep that in mind, uh, with any further moves you make. And again, uh, I fully support him being reported to the authorities, uh, for this type of activity. Uh, and I hope we have Canadian listeners, uh, and they actually do take that short sort of shit seriously in Canada. Now, will they actually do anything? I don't know. Um, but it seems to get away with every other time, it's right? Very possible, yeah. And, and make sure to send in if you do. Uh, once I get these and, and post them, of course they'll be edited. Make sure you send in uh, some of his more uh, racy comments online, uh, arguably racist comments, n words. You know his appearances with alt right figures, etc. I'm sure that that would uh, help get the attention of the Canadian authorities uh, even further. Uh, just a little hint. I'm not going to do it personally, but uh, we have some people who might, and I, I support that 100. percent uh, mm. Now let me ask you this. Uh, what are the clips of himself saying that my name well, yeah. and that he knows where I am and that obviously it would rule if I did die of cancer and, you know, just threats and, you know, all through that live stream that he did about me. And I, if I was just someone you flirted with and ghosted, I don't know why you're so scared of me, Andy. Well, to do I... it literal hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of talking about me and lying about me. Well, the obvious so. call would be to ignore this, but, you know, he's constitutionally, uh, you know, unable to do something like that. Uh, no, but also the shit about his bitch was coming out. So I do think, he, you yes. know, he, 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 he's, he is scared. I don't know why, why he's so scared of me. But he, also, it's like he's just finding out. I think he was losing it because I genuinely think he didn't know the shit about her. So I, I don't think he was at that, like, thinking, oh, good, I'm going to put attention on me, like, and do this. But I think he was like, having a meltdown because all this shit's coming out about his bitch and i'd typed in a chat so he was literally spiraling and that's why i think he did that live stream for so long and but he just made it all about me because he was spiraling because all the shit was coming out about her yeah, I think so, too. Uh, and you just absolutely filleting him on air. Uh, he has a real problem with that uh, as well. Oh, so, uh, you okay. know, he, he, can't, he can't handle it. Um, now let me... He has no fucking... He's got such a fragile little ego. So, you know... Very fragile, very small, very small person. Um, now, let me ask you, I, I'm going to go through some of these questions. I know that kind of threw things off, but, uh, you know, I'm being told. This, yeah, sorry. This well, yeah, here. I don't. Um, and, and some of these uh, we, we've covered, but the, the Vax thing. Uh, and again, mm -hmm. he, he lied to his audience for years, claiming he wasn't vaxxed, mm -hmm. uh, and his tard guard is already out there trying to minimize that and, oh, it's no big deal. And, uh, you know, if you just took the vax and admitted it, uh, you know, that would be one thing. But like you said, he had no reason to take it in the first place, right? Uh, he signaled to his audience, uh, put this tweet up as well. Let me see if I can find it here. Uh, I know it's on my timeline. I think I'll just read it from my timeline uh, where he said the vax has been suspended in over 20 countries and counting because of blood clots and side effects that may include death. Wouldn't that be terrible? He says it also has it also hasn't been proven to work and experts say it can only work. Is everyone taking it? I think he meant if everyone takes it. These jokers thought we wouldn't see through this. Now, this is a tweet uh, from, from Worski himself uh, that uh, has been discovered while I was on the air. Uh, obviously, he did take he did take the vaccine, uh, Raven. First off, why didn't you what take it? That? Yeah, why didn't you take it? And um, what did you think about him trying to coerce you into taking it? Well, obviously, I didn't take it, and I didn't get coerced, but I didn't... I. Well, just so I can travel. No, thank you. Um, like I, I wasn't working at the time because I was finishing treatment, and um, I, I um, I don't know. I wasn't in a position where I had to or lose my home. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So there are people out there that were in that position, and I don't, I don't hate those people. I don't judge those people at all whatsoever. I'm not like some crazy person that you know. But for me personally, and someone who is already ill, I'm not having anything put in my body that you know isn't gonna help me live longer but they're trying to help I, I didn't know what was in that shit and I you know my body's already fighting um I don't know I that's just I, how I felt about it you know 
Yeah, and that's how I felt about it too. By the way, we have almost 700 people watching live across all platforms oh God, don't live really on the kill stream. Don't get nervous. Uh, but, I already uh, have been. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit uh, bigger turnout here, like I know it would be, uh, for, for me conducting the interview and going thoroughly uh through the through the record I, I see surfer in chat who may be in a position to know i don't know if this is true or not but surfers in the rumble chat and he said andy's parents made him get it under the pretense that it would put his dad's job in jeopardy if he didn't uh and then he says his dad's like the head janitor at the toronto hospital or something like that uh is what surfer cool. said now i again i don't know all that but uh, surfer would be in a position to know some of that stuff um, but then that's fine but then don't lie on the show say well, you that's had the to thing. have it yeah just say you had to take it that's what i'm saying right and again i've said this on don't there. lie right it's forever the... Saying it's, that you're anti-vax and people that get it are mental and or don't say all the shit that you said on your sh show with with Ashton and and but have already been vaxxed since you know early 2022 like what or whenever it was I've got the date in the you know the message like don't I've been vaxxed for what, ages and right. that was, that, that, that was in May 22. Say. So the screenshots from 2022, but he said I've been vaxxed for ages. Uh, yeah, is is what he said. So it goes way back, uh, and he also got the boosters. He got the full don't lie. season it pass. Point. It wasn't yeah. about being vaxxed. It was about lying again. Yes. I'm just trying to clear up the fucking lies. That's all I'm. That's all I've done. I haven't. You know, I haven't added load, like all this extra shit in. I'm just clarifying all the shit that he spoke about himself off his head on coke on that live stream. <laughs> I'm just clearing it up because. This is the first time I've got been able to. <laughs> yes, and uh, you know, it's 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 the lying. Uh it's the lying for money, which is the story of his life. I hate that. Uh lying for money. It's it's not even taking the vax. It's it's trying to uh not trying yeah, to. Yeah, it's not that. It. That's not why I'm yeah, I don't care about that part. And people had to. I I get that. But if he had to, because of his dad dad's job which I don't even really believe I don't that. know if that's true but, or not, if Surfer's just saying that. No. That almost sounds too good to be true that his dad is the head janitor. Yeah, it's perfect, isn't it? Healthcare <laughs> I hope it amazing. is true, it's though. Perfect. I hope it is true. It would but, make a lot of sense if his daddy was the head janitor. He's got the golden broom, Raven. That would make a lot of sense. He's got the golden broom at the hospital. Sweet, <laughs> sweet. Sweet, no, sweet, sweet, Papa Perez. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sounds but, so perfect. It sounds so perfect. But if that is true, and I, if that is the case, then don't lie and sh just say it. Or shut up and don't say anything. Either or, it's fine. But Correct. don't lie. And and also say people that have had the vax are insane and crazy and all the things he said about people that were vaccinated. So either shut up and don't say anything about it or you know say why you had to have it. But don't fucking slag people off that have had it and lie that you haven't. Don't do that. Don't. Don't lie. Don't do that for money because everyone was in his chat was anti-vax. You know what I mean? So um, don't, yeah, either just don't talk about it. Don't say what, if you've had it or not or say why you had to. Either or of them are fine. I think that, that either or of them are moral and ethical when you've got an audience. But lying and going on like that for money, you know, isn't also uh i see i see the crusty meth whore uh is tuned in as well she's she's really uh, a piece of work uh really a piece of work uh i'm so jealous for her. i'm a clout whore my kids i should be a mom whatever grow up bitch <laughs> also i'm looking at some i'm guessing i haven't looked i'm just whatever and i'm obsessed with her boyfriend i'm obsessed i'm obsessed with my own life it's my life i'm talking about things that have happened to me my personal experiences and things that have happened so and they're put do you know what they're they're literally he found the female him i'm so happy for him because you know i i don't know how it's going to end well and i just it, but i'm not going to wish anything on anyone but i just don't you know they're both liars they're both you know in everyone you know they're both sending nude to you know people all over the place they're both addicts so you know this is going to be very go i mean they've found e the male and female version of each other haven't they it's literally yeah you are made in heaven you are i'm sure very much in love and uh, i mean you've literally found the male you and he's found the female him so well done on that you two clever by, well done. By the way, I, I, if I wasn't holding something in my hand, I would do the Warsky seal clap, <laughs> but I, I've got something in my hand. <laughs> 
By the way, um, let's see. Yes, that sounds great. Looks like we're going to have uh, sticks on on Wednesday um, for the for that makeup interview. Uh, let me see. That's totally off topic. Um, I was so confused then for a second. Yeah, 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 that's totally off topic. Make but a but uh, I, I just uh, got a little update on that. Might as well do a little promo here during this. Now, get this, Raven, get this. Not only did he dox you during the interview, he he sent out his clip editor to do it, uh, who would have no way of knowing your name in the first place. But he he tr- still tried to keep himself one step removed from the actual doxing. So he sent out his clip editor, flaked and baked, who uh-huh. is some, you know, uh, pikey. I That's believe, what I said. What did I term. say at the start? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. my God. Yes. It's, that is over here art, um, for that type it's, his for him yes. and it, what makes me laugh is if you know the film snatch I, you know yes it, he literally sounds exactly like brad pitt's character yeah jag dags like he literally sounds like a proper pikey i, I shouldn't oh god it's, no, it's, it's, fine. it's a it's not a good term in this over here but um it's a you know whatever and andy's saying he couldn't ever understand me when i well, as soon as i heard that and i was thinking i don't even know who this prick is on this show because like i said i haven't watched Annie for forever now like for over for a year over a year so I was I was like what if you can understand that prick who doesn't even know me and it was chiming in and the other prick that was on it that doesn't even know me and was chiming in um I was thinking we well, can understand him like there's no way well obviously I knew he understood me we had conversations on the phone we had voice note I mean you've got voice notes where he's saying how he loves listen you know you've got screenshots sure. I mean not it was totally you, I've sent you proof I've just all I've done is sent you proof for everything he lied about in that stream you know, <laughs> and how cowardly uh, to send his henchmen out there to do it. By the way, the henchmen would have no way of knowing it without Worski feeding him uh, that information. Obviously, because I've never spoken to anyone else. You know, obviously they wouldn't know. Just unbelievable. What uh, cowardice. Uh, you know, he can't. He can only force people into it abortions, does. right? He tried to get Alex to kill somebody on his own behalf. He's using uh, this stooge uh, to to dox you live while the interview is going on. It's just, it's just pathetic how weak he really is, Raven. You know what I mean? Like he can't even do this stuff on his own. Uh, he has to use third parties and other people to try to cover his ass because that's what a big pussy he is. Uh, no, well, me... yeah. I, I mean, I, I, what have I done? I, I've said uh, that I, he's a bitch. I wasn't gonna be threatened in silence. I said, go on, bitch, release my pussy because he ain't got it. And I've also said a statement to any and every creator, anyone that's listening, <laughs> you can clip it, ship it, do what Anon you want. Three oh, send, show us Andy's please. I'm giving permission. Already. Screenshot. You know, and I'm saying these to. things with we such conviction because they don't exist. Because I know they don't. Because <laughs> I never ever have been in. And he created, I'm not her, is what, you know, all the stuff that was said about me, it was just like he, again, got mixed up and he was describing her because I, I not, that's never happened. So, you know, all these things, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> if you know what i mean now let me <laughs> now uh let me go through some of these i know that that kind of um you know threw the the flow off but completely understandable all right now galactic hold on. sent three dollars did right. worski oh. ever try to talk to you I'll about babysitters this question there's a super what's your whole there. take on the whole babysitter mm-hmm. angle no. was it her or was it a family member? Now, uh, Anon asked a question before that. Hold on, there's some super chats Kessling coming in. Kessling sent $10, where he throw away a class of ladies for back home. That's, that's pretty hardcore down that status, my man. Now. Also, Cog's mad as well. Well, I'd be mad if I was you too, Cog, because you completely well, no, fumbled the ball. I, didn't, I, haven't, I haven't said anything bad about Cog. No, but, but I, but, said, but I, I wanna... wasn't expecting to tell happen in. No, no, no. Oh, I, don't I'm, wait, not... wait. I'm going to tell you what happened. You don't, you don't know what happened. Uh, hold on one second. Let me, uh, let me stop this song if I can find the... Oh, oh here God. What? Now they're all so, going to be at me. So, so he... Thank you for that, Kiosk Man. He released some messages that I had sent to you that I guess he you sent to him or whatever uh, when we first started having our interactions. 
And he's like, let Ralph uh-huh. have his interview. He's been begging for it all week. I mean, I did work hard to secure this interview. There's no doubt about that. And we had a long conversation yeah, but yesterday. I, but I also, that doesn't bother me, sorry. dear. Don't worry about that. You, uh, sorry. <laughs> but also, no, no, no. But also, yeah. I wasn't, you've got to understand, I was pissed. Like, you know, sure. at the start, you're calling yes. me an escort and all these yes. things I wasn't. And he's lying about me. Like, I was like, for fuck's sake, like, well, yes. give me a break. Obviously, um, and also, I did tell you, like, after, like, I did tell you Don't this worry. information that, you know, I'm no, but mad. I did say yeah. also, and you said about the interview, I still want you on, if, yes. even if you do Cogs fast. And that was before I done Because I knew he would blow thing. it, Raven, that's why. And then and so... I did say to Cog that I, I, I said to Cog that I, before I'd ever gone on there, that I might go on the kill stream. So I've, I've never lied. I haven't, like, do you know what I mean? I, I yes. made that clear. Well, and he's leaking your I personal interactions him. with him now. Uh, would you like to oh say something God, is, about his slag of a wife? I just think... Yeah, go ahead. No, because she's a private person, and okay. I'm not a fucking evil bitch. Fair. Well, she but attacked you know her motherhood, is all I'm saying. Yeah, she, she I was atta- just going to say, yeah. her, pre- her line of questioning was a bit fucking bizarre. This master that's, 33 that's all I fucking $2 say, and I felt very attacked. I didn't feel like it was an interview. I felt like I was in an interrogation at that point. That's what I will say. But I'm not going to go in on her for any other reason. It was it was out of line though. She's a private person, in my but opinion. she's a private person that is jumping that's, in on that's a, fair. That's in, fair. An interview, and and only to to talk about my motherhood, which again she is doesn't know anything piss about me off the motherhood. Most. By the way, <laughs> so <laughs> neither does Leona. Just... Um, so it's kind of a it's kind of a weird thing for all these. Why is he going to talk to me here too? Because he knows my name because I forgot to um in some sc- in the, some of the screenshots I sent him I put to blur it. Do you know what I mean? Is he going to dox it as well? well I, and I mean is it. When I'm sending screenshots to prove I'm a liar, and I haven't slept for days, and I'm I've been in the hospital for eight hours, and so I'm sending stuff to get it out, and um you know, and I've forgotten to blank my name first, and is what is Cog gonna really? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Is he gonna start and all like releasing? Well, it shit? wouldn't surprise <laughs> me, uh, to be honest, but I haven't seen that yet, so I won't lie on him. Um, but uh, no, it, I'm it I don't, I'm not saying he will. I'm just yeah, saying, yeah. is he going to start and all? Like the whole fucking internet's been on my dick all week. Like <laughs> fuck off. And I say I don't have a dick. Obviously, I'm just saying like I've got a bigger dick than Andy. I've got bigger balls than Andy. More of a man than Andy, and I'm a feminine woman. So you know, I'm just fucking sick of this shit at this point. I'm just all I'm doing is correcting the record, and I think I've got the right to. Yeah, and I and I just got a message from somebody, and it's true. It says Cog has attacked this single mom with cancer more than he attacks Worski. Uh, it's absurd. Literally, can we just, just say mom? Can we drop the mom with cancer thing? I, I, yeah, you know, I, I know, don't but use it, it does make it even worse, though, right? Like, you know I know, I mean? yeah. but you know, I haven't got it. You now. don't have it now. It cancer survivor is more accurate, right? Yeah, Thank yeah, yeah. Yes, hey, yes, yes, but yes, the yes. mom with ca- I'm just a mom. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just a mom. I'm just a human. I'm just My a person. My tabloidism gets the best of me to. sometimes because I, it really does make it wor- no, even I'm, worse. No, I'm not. Though. I'm not. Yeah. Sla- I'm not going at you. No, I'm not no, no. I can see why it's frustrating because it's like every time it's the mom with cancer. The mom with cancer. The mom with cancer. The mom. I'm just a mom. I'm just a mom. I'm just a mom that shits happened to with this fucking idiot. Like, do you know what I mean? That's simple as it is really and i'm i'm telling my side because i was lied about for 10 hours straight by him you know what i mean I, he's very scared of me so it's just i and I, and he lied about me for all that time and i'm just feel i have the right to correct the record about my own life that's you know private that he made very public and i'm just i just correct wanted to correct it and i wasn't going to be and i wasn't even i really wasn't at that point going to do an interview. I wasn't going to come on the kill stream, and I said, you know, we, the second he tried to use fear tactics to shut me up, I was like, ah, absolutely not, bitch. No, I'm now talking. I'm now going to. I am. Well, I'm glad you. you did, uh, and I was hopeful that you would. I didn't know for sure if you would, uh, because this place is crazy as fuck. Uh, let's be real. Uh, and I could have understood if you didn't do that, but Worski kind of made us. I was told, I, I yeah. really was. Well, we were talking you know, right not like before I came on air, and you're like, I'm nervous, and I was like, no, just calm down. I literally, yeah, yeah, like five minutes before it's five minutes before, I was like, I'm yeah. fucking scared, I'm, angry. I'm scared, I literally, I'm scared, I was like, I was, I'm nervous, I'm scared, like, I, you know, because I, again, I have never done this, I have never, I didn't think it would turn into this, I'm never in my wildest, I feel like I'm in a dream, like, it's like, why would, I never thought for any reason in my whole life there would be a need for me to be on the kill stream you know where i've watched <laughs> monday Ma- you know where i've laughed over things over the year you know in my i, I never ever thought <laughs> that 
it and we talked about that yesterday. Real life. Like, this is kind of surreal. I've I've seen the kill stream over the years and sat there and laughed and you know, on YouTube, enjoyed. like the yes. fucking charity stream. It was yes. one of the funniest streams ever. Like you know what I mean? It's like watching things and laughing things over the years. Like back to YouTube. Like you know when Andy was on it, Jim was on it. Or, you know what I mean? Yes. Like that when you know before they all became different humans and you know it's whatever and works. you know Here, it was you know three cent two dollars on uh, the super chats you think in. the preacher's wife sister mary uh, matoker will do a two-hour stream no, crying about ask, andy master. that's his new angle ain't it no, and, and go ahead and finish your thought and i'll read these super chats out because there's a few questions in there for you oh, no, i was just saying it. it's just I it's never, funny how things change thought, yeah. i never thought this out and i never in my wildest dreams thought that you know things that when i was actually ill in hospital you know i and medic hasn't made me laugh, you know, sure. in the past. Like, the, you know, I there was, used to be some funny shit put out. And, the, you know, the internet seems to have changed even more, you know. But, Things don't change. you know, he's made me laugh. He's made me laugh a lot. You made me laugh a lot. That whole stream, you were all on it, you know. The, yes. You know, both that I've referred to, that uh, two of my favorite streams, the charity one and the Boulder stream. Yes. Um, you know, they, they, were all, they were all on that both of those streams and um you know i laughed a lot i was in hospital listening it was a fucking great stream i laugh at him now uh, myself saying, but for it's different reasons to me. but yeah we we had some good streams but it's surreal to me yeah. that yeah and it's surreal to me that for any reason i would ever need to be having to clarify and stand up for myself on the kill strip. you know what i mean i never thought that would be a thing i literally feel like i'm in a fever dream like it's not real life right now like none of this like it's so mad <laughs> It is it is surreal. Now let me now let me read some of these. Uh, one of the anons, and I don't want this, and completely disavow asking for his dick pic. Of course, that's not going to happen because she's not that. No, I'm never going to. I'm never. I, that's uh, not me. Yeah, and I just. I'm. Ne- I'm never going to do that. Yes, and I know that. Uh, Galactic says, and I support that decision. Uh, Galactic says, did Worski ever t- uh, try to talk to you about babysitters? What is your whole take on the whole babysitter angle? What, now this one's a little. I don't know if you want to weigh into it. it. Says was it her or was it a family member? He, you know, he claims he was um, um, molested by a female babysitter. I, I don't know if he ever talked to you about that or not. But you can answer that or not if you want. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Okay, that's fair. Um, now, um, Assmaster uh, says, "Let the homos be mad. What you did took Moxie, lady." Uh, and I agree with Thanks. that. I agree with that as well. And then he says, "Do you think the preacher's wife, Sister Mary Medicare, will do a two-hour stream crying about Andy? That's his new angle, ain't it?" No, I wouldn't expect that. I wouldn't expect that. Uh, also, some breaking news: uh, Flaked and Baked, uh, who. Um, uh, you know, docs you, uh, and one of these chats has locked his Twitter account. Also, chat reacting, oh. reacting to your answer about the babysitter, which it's very classy not to talk about it. Seems like maybe you have heard some things about that, but I won't go into it. I'll just let that answer uh, stand on its own. But yeah, I can certainly understand that reaction from the chat. Uh, but let me let me get back to to, to these questions again. I'm not going to keep you all night, but I kind of want to speed run uh, some of these that I that I may not. Um, uh, have, have hit, although it's, it, a lot of them, you know, just kind of came up naturally. Uh, but this one I was going to ask for sure. Uh, did he message and call you during all hours of the day? Uh, and oh, what, Jesus Christ. Was it always about Andy? Sorry. Go ahead. I wasn't saying Jesus Christ at you. <laughs> um, obviously, it just, I was just getting flashbacks of people saying things. <laughs> like I said, it's a lot of stuff to process. Yeah, it was always, it was always, like, because obviously there's a five hour time difference. And, um, but he would never, this is another thing. He would never care about that. That didn't matter. It was wasn't even like you know if a he got up, even if it was Rumble. you know like Flint they said the other day it was like a heat. child like even Bitch if he didn't man. have a stream he'd sleep all fucking day. It was like even if he didn't have a stream and it was up till you know six or five or four in the morning and then had went to sleep and got up at one o'clock in the afternoon. It it wasn't just when he had a stream. It was always like that and. You know, a lot of the time it's like that. I'm not going to say every single day because then, well, he's going to screenshot something where he was up one day in the morning. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm trying to put sure. everything out, like, act, you know, be very accurate. Um, But, you know, he but he didn't care that about the five hours or the fact that I had children to raise and other things to do. Um, You know, I, I, it was always on his time. Now, even if he, when he woke up in the afternoon, if he contacted then, um, it would still be, you know, not, six in the morning four in the morning two in the morning and it wasn't just when he wanted to talk like 
you know, or one pit or so whatever. It would second, be like if you had a FR doing this. One sec, I'm you've been through a lot, but I'm glad you cool. finally found a place to fully get your story out. And then classy, classy. Well. Uh, Revan saying you're classy and glad you got your story out. Oh. Um, but go ahead and, you. and finish your thought. And thank you for the for the super chat. Go ahead. Thank you. I can't see. Remember, I'm not. I'm not looking at chat. I was so nervous that I thought I, that no, they're you're doing great. me. You're doing great. <laughs> so and the chat's totally behind. It's been you. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. So yeah, it was always, you know, it was always on whenever. Just whenever he, yeah, he didn't care that there was a five hour, you know, I'm five hours ahead, and that you know, it was always, if he had a thought that he felt he needed to share because obviously having a thought probably feels really profound to Andy. So um, <laughs> you know, he'd contact me. There was no like boundaries at all with time and waking me up and funny that they're saying i deleted the 16 lines in that the 16 lines screenshot um i was asleep if you look at the screen if you look at the screenshot the timestamps are in my time because they're my screenshots right they're at 5 a.m like yes. and the first lot are like there's probably six or seven minutes apart if you please look at the timestamps they're actually I couldn't have even, if even I was awake, I wouldn't have even Rumble. had time to respond in things. between. They were like Ralph, seconds the apart. Words and lady. then there was like another dump at like six something. But, but it was all within an hour and I was still asleep. Um, and I woke up to them. Now, um, there, there was, you know, I couldn't have even responded if I was awake because they were literally minutes, seconds, not even minutes, seconds apart. And the timestamps show that because it's my end up, and shows my time that it was because it's my screenshot. Well, it was manic. It Sorry, was just dun, 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 I mean, most dudes are even just people, right? Uh, you know, you send a couple messages, maybe even three or four if you're trying to get, like, more more info out or you have... Yeah, like, I'm not saying say, I but, sometimes... Yeah, 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 sure, but 16 yeah, in a row, up. just back, boom, 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 boom. And to boom, end boom. it, sorry, I love it. The end. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, say all that <laughs> stuff that you were saying and then end it with, I'm sorry. What a pathetic little man. No, he's not a man. Fuck that. Yeah, it's... Uh, just bizarre and of Creature. course he's, he's trying to you know self-edit again like oh i'm sorry obviously it's you know you can see how crazy <laughs> it looks. why would you say oh i'm sorry he, he's obviously thinking shit she's not replying because some sometimes he would it would wake me up my phone would wake me up i started putting it on silent um sometimes it's on vibrate obviously if um you know my my kids were with their dad my phone would always be on loud in case I, i'm a mother so it's like oh what if they got ill what if they needed me you know what i mean so um you know i'd always have my volume on then and um even though we're not together we co-parent and there's you know there's not like set days if the girls want to stay there and it's not working they say that that's cool do you know what i mean so you yeah my phone was, that's why i couldn't have my phone on silent all the time at night because if something ever happened to one of them and they weren't with me and they were with their dad and their dad needed to phone me i had to have my I had to be able to be woken up, you know what I mean? Yes, I, I completely know what you mean. You, you needed to have the, the ringer on, right, uh, in case something yeah. happened. Uh, and a lot of people have to do that too, right? Like, it's your blast if you're able to just turn the ringer off uh, at night. Now, I've been able to do that recently. <laughs> But, uh, you know, sometimes uh, that's not the case. Uh, and I see Anton uh, in chat. Uh, he's going in on the COG thing. Now, again, you, this is a super chat. You can answer it or not. I don't know if you know this about COG. I, did say, I, don't, I don't know what it says. Well, I'm going to read it to you. I'm gonna I did read it say to you that I don't want to. Well, I'll just like, read it and you can leave it. Okay, right? okay, okay. You, okay, you can okay, leave okay. it. It says, would you have agreed to the COG interview if you knew his brother credibly accused him of being a pedophile? I don't know if you heard oh, that. Oh, God. Right? But he did do that. I didn't actually, hear that. I, that actually uh, did happen. Yeah, that actually did happen. But again, you, well, don't, I don't, you know, don't have to comment on it. Right? And I don't, yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen. I don't, you know, I don't know this allegation, so I'm not going to say he's a pe You know, I sure, that's haven't fine. seen that. That's I don't want to. Completely I, fine. Because I only want, again, I'm on here to only speak. All right, I know. And I'm not trying to make you go about. in on him. No, I, I know. I'm yeah, just yeah. saying I'm. I don't want to speak on something I don't know about. That's fair. That's very fair. I don't uh, want to discredit myself in any way, shape, or form with it because any, any, anything that could. Do you know what I mean? I don't want it to get conflated with other shit. When, sure. You know, uh, yes. And it, and could be like, oh look, she, look, she lied about. This. Do you know what I mean? It's one tiny little thing. So then what he's trying to go, gonna make me look like i have no credibility in any of it like i'm not well he's actually me. attacking you during this interview on behalf of war i'm sure seemingly. he is it's it's insane i'm so bizarre what in the do you know world? why I was, think, yeah. I was thinking earlier what sorry um why you know we were talking and it you didn't want you didn't want an interview you know i was in hospital 
you didn't I, you didn't want the interview and I was fine with that because I again was I'm not I wasn't trying to put shit out there I didn't know I didn't know and he had done that stream um and so I didn't feel like there was a huge rush you know I, that I needed to correct the record like I feel now and um but you know he said that you know there's nothing really to ask but the chat wanted it right well, but I just it was it was bizarre because I, was, I missed the first bit of the show and then I wake up to you know everyone wanting this and it's like she'll come in and of course I, I'd said he was like but if I, but mentally I, I, I'd been told and I'd only said to you like what he had said to me I wasn't slagging him off saying that to you I was saying I'm not doing the cog show he because he doesn't know what to ask but he because he said, said there's nothing you. more to ask yeah I, so i wasn't slagging him off when i said that to you you were saying because he's in F and all, all this shit well, I, I didn't say that i, I said added exactly that. what I he added said yes, yes thank yes, you yes, please yes, clarify yes, that yes, i'm just want he is an F though ask. raven i mean let's uh, you know uh, again you but don't i'm saying say i didn't no you didn't say I that. said what say he said to me all i've said is what he said to me that all day and that but imagine saying that though there's a ton of questions you can ask i jotted down like 20 question just off the top of my head an hour before the show right and if i was really sitting here i could have jotted down a hundred fucking questions right uh and everybody yeah, wanted to hear from you even people who don't like me wanted me to do this now interview, right <laughs> yeah yeah i mean it's like even people who didn't don't don't like me wanted to hear from you now let me speed run through some of these and i'll let you get a out of here hold on a sec cent, one dollars on rumble um, you should have slagged him off He's a slag talker. They're, they're giving you a lot of credit for, for uh, holding fire uh, on COG, and I give you credit for that, too. Uh, and I'm not trying to make you slag him off or, or anything like that. No, I just think um, people's actions speak for themselves a lot. Yeah, and I, I that's fair. Uh, now, hold on. There's, there's another super chat coming Wolf in. Blitzer sent $3. Uh, Did you think Machiavelli... Cog's interview partner was mentally well, deficient. Well, you know what? We talked about this, and and I will ask. They they're really on the Cog topic now because he's uh, trying oh, to God. attack you live, but uh, which is bizarre okay. to me that he. But whatever. Um, it's bizarre to me that he didn't want the interview, and then all of a sudden, for some reason, he did want well, me. Well, you know, he's I, being accused of cross dressing and all this stuff, and he didn't even do a stream today because he's just been getting blasted everywhere. All over the internet. Yeah, that that he allegedly. Sorry again, I was wasn't on online yeah, on the weekend at all, so he's, he's I don't know. He's being accused of cross-dressing as his wife. Now, honestly, I don't know if that's true. What? Yeah, I, I don't even know if that's true. Uh, you know, the I'm bomb, just confused. The Bombay oh, buffet buster. You know, I I, I tend to think no. you know she's just really fat and ugly. Uh, and but whatever. No, uh, I but don't. That's why he's not streaming today because they're accusing him of being a cross-dresser. Yes. Well, that's none of that is my right. Word, that's not. That's, you didn't say that. I'm just I, giving you some background. Like, um, so he's not even streaming today. Normally he would be, but he's getting blasted all over the internet, and so you know he's cowering. In the I'm just corner. really. I'm so. I know it's crazy. Right I mean, I can't <laughs> lie to you. It's fucking insane. But that's literally what happened. I'm really confused. <laughs> that's literally <laughs> so, what happened. I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> really. I know. My brain can't take all this. <laughs> all right, now. I can't take all this. Now, I, I'll just ask you. I'm sure everyone's getting really bored of me as well by now. They're probably like, get this bitch off. Actually, no. The chat loves you. Uh, and I saw Zarnu, who's been on the show, uh, and she said you have a very cute voice. Uh, and a lot of people have said that. And I think you've come across uh, really well um, during this the, during this whole interview. Uh, but this super chat had mentioned Machiavelli. Did you did you oh, think, I appreciate did you th did you think poorly of him? He was part of the Cog interview, and actually we talked no, about actually, this. And you liked he, him yeah. on the interview, and he was actually doing a better no, no. job. Yeah, yeah go yes. ahead. He was yeah. trying to tell Cog to shush. He was, yes. and he 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 was trying to. And he, I know people were going at him. I saw your reaction in real well, time, yeah. but he genuinely was, and he was trying to let me get me to be able to speak yeah you know and he was trying to trying to do that um but it didn't happen yes. Uh, Revan JJ I'll, I'll let this come through. Um, nope, we like you, Raven. We want you to Raven, keep chatting. Not Raven. You've come across great. Says nope. No, no, he's like exploding me off when he said. Yes. He said that uh, name. Yeah, name Raven. Ago, that's his name. Or something, and I was uh, like, ah. <laughs> he said nope. We like you, Raven. We want you to keep chatting. You come across great. James Gartner says great guest. Most neat Thank Sneedly you. says great guest. Zarnu says she is very articulate and insightful. King Slog says you are great. Great oh, Queen right. Raven. Uh, is, okay. Is what he said. Uh, Assmaster says nah, you're great. Um, like I said, the whole chat uh, is Thank on your you. side and thinks, I... thinks you've come across very well and you've been very classy. Uh, and you know, all things considered, you could have went a lot just who nastier. I am as a person. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm just not. It's just who I am as a person. I just wanted to set 
the record straight. That's a of, of what he put out about. He's done this. He started this, and I've just wanted to correct the record. That's that's it. It's that simple. Yes, and and again, I saw uh, Galactic in the chat earlier, uh, and he said, well, she, "Wow, she really shown a lot of restraint." Uh, you know, they they're doxing her live really and have, doing yeah. all this stuff. It's like if it was me, I would be doing this, this, and that. Uh, and you've shown yeah, a lot but, of restraint. Yeah, go ahead. And, yeah, and, I I, ha I I have because I, I can't say I'm not fucking fuming. <laughs> well, sure. But, yeah. I, um, but you know, the whole reason I did I did this is because he half doxed me, then threatened me twice during his co that coat fuel stream into silence basically if you don't it was obviously he didn't say these exact words but this is what the message was i i know this is her, her name i've got her location oh she she's from the uk but i've got her actual location and you know that if it needs to that will come out and then shut the fuck up or i'm gonna dox you and as soon as it was that it was like as i've said earlier absolutely not you bitch you're not you're not you don't scare me into anything now i'm gonna talk and put my fucking side across fuck you that's that was why so you know he's do, he's done this to himself now let me um let me read some more of these uh comments disheveled human says uh good guest ogilvy says that was great galactic says very good guest new age says she needs to come back on uh even uh is what he said i mean i haven't even got to go through all my voice notes from him I, i've got i haven't had time I, you know I'm not against like part i said two. i was in the hospital yeah. i mean i'm not saying i'm not saying that i'm, I'm like, not saying oh, we'll do I'm it or not hospital. i'm not trying to pressure you into i haven't it, even but... had time yeah. to like go through everything and listen to everything and and that's another thing oh my god that he said that i want to correct it again that um please please screenshot the um the five 30 minute voice notes can you do that please andy and put them out there because that never happened i mean it'd probably be faking shit now and he but um it, it, probably one will appear but it never happened um with the date like i do or i always show the date so i can find it in the chat don't so when i can scroll up in mine and we can compare notes you know i'll screenshot mine send it in you know i'll i'll record screen record my phone so everyone knows you know but i've always done it with the dates on it and all that stuff so yeah if you can put them out there without them being fake because they he could only put them out there with them being fake because it doesn't exist but he said that's that's when i last spoke to her because i realized she was a psycho i mean i mean his own pig has sent like 79 messages in a row to tommy c giving him 10 minutes to respond to her and um to you know what i mean and to every other person apparently in the um you know the she's crossed you know communities and gone from do you know what i mean she, yes. she went through all of them over you know that way and then she's gone into the sector and then andy was the first one to say yeah apparently they all ignored the bitch and knew she was crazy i really don't think andy knew any of this so that's why i think he spiraled so hard and he's so scared of me for some reason. And then he was spiraling hard because all of this information was coming out at the same time about his bitch he just paid 50 grand for. So, you know, he he wanted to put it all on me. But that's that's another reason I think he was spiraling so hard. I agree. Uh, and I see I see this tweet uh, saying Cog has uh, discredited you, etc. The sweeping How? the How? sweeping is unbelievable. All Cog is why done. is he why is he all of a sudden want to be Wolsey's best friend? Right, it's exactly. Really weird, and and, and so what confusing. I said to this jobless Johnny account, who's a Cog A log account, and also obviously a casino Janny. Uh, I said all he's done is make himself. This is me speaking, by the way, not Raven. Uh, he's made himself look like a bitter loser, and you are exposing yourself as a Janny. For for a baby killer, a vax head, coke fiend who just docks a single mother live, uh, and that is pathetic. Uh, so nothing's been exposed, and the messages he shared were after the story originally broke, where you were, just, you know, you were kind of upset about how my framing uh, at first. Yeah. And I don't and blame I you, you for. That. Yes, you told me I, that. I, this is no surprise to me. Like uh, this is this is Cog being bitter that I wasn't his coming interview in worked out so wrong. Into you, like, yes. oh Ralph, oh please interview me. No, That's, that didn't I happen. Was like, Precisely that is not the opposite. Fucking true. Yeah. Take that shit down. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Yes. I was like, why are you lying about me? Right. That we didn't get off on that. the best foot. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, we didn't get off on the best foot that's at true. all. No, we didn't. We didn't, but, you know, <laughs> no. I did correct the record and I wanted to, and I didn't come in lying to you. I, you know, I said that this, I'd said this, that, and the other, and I, I wanted to get it right. Yeah. And, you know, we, we ended up having a better uh, rapport later on, uh, you know, as we started talking yeah. and, and, you know, you saw that. And I you removed the lies. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that's right. And I was like, and, you, and and for yourself, you 
said uh, I heard you say on the show actually she sounds like a classy kind yes very non psycho person very right. nice just nice um well put together you know yes. person that seems lovely and you, I heard you say that when you were going over the clips that had said about me because obviously I only have been able to catch up on, on from that so because I wasn't on at all at the weekend so I did hear you say that yes, you know, and like she seems very well put together kind to, to, you know yes uh, intelligent uh, and that's true. That's what I really thought. And, you know, when it first came out, obviously I didn't know you and I'm blowing up the story and, you know, I went a little overboard yeah, with some I... things, obviously. And you asked me to delete a couple of things that weren't accurate and a couple others. And I did that. Uh, and, you know, you know, the reason for a couple of others, though, yes. that was a different, it wasn't because I was trying to, no, that wasn't no, it wasn't it was like, oh, delete that, delete the wording. But, that was a, but yeah. I did that because I wanted to show you that I was, you know, serious about this and not, you know, in good trying. faith. Yes, exactly. Uh, and hopefully, because everyone was telling me you weren't, and you're going right. to attack me, or no, no, or well, one person who's I not going to attack you attack me. is me. Uh, and I can't speak for Cog, and obviously Warski's doing what he's doing, etc. But you won't have any attacks from we me. We all saw that. We knew that he was going to do that. Yeah, I mean, we, knew we knew Warski was going to do Waiting yes. before it even started, we yes. knew that was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't a shock. Um, but. Anyway, I, I'll I'll let the cog stuff speak for itself, uh, and, and I'm just going through. I think we cover, covered most everything. I'm not going to keep you all night, uh, but I'm I'm just um, I'm just scrolling through some of these, and and then I'll fi finish up with a with with a thought and let and let you take it away. But I, I see a couple of um, uh, things here. We did touch on the insane messages Liana sent to Tommy C. Have you have you ever sent any messages like that to anyone online no, ever? No, or, I or I went over life? and I will repeat. Sorry, no, go ahead. I went over that early, and I think I don't know quite early in the interview, but uh, and I just it came into my head and I said it myself. You didn't say anything about it, and it, there wasn't a question. Um, but no, I literally said. Um, and I will say it again and clip it, put it where everyone, anyone who's listening, clip it, put it wherever you Reverend want. JJ um, said one dollar. Anybody, <laughs> any creator, um, commentary community, the sector, any community, also any back. creator, live streamer, YouTuber, whatever they are, um, small, big, whoever. If you have any DMs from me, please, I give you permission, screenshot them and post them because no one does because I've never, ever, because I've never, ever been in DMs with anyone else so and go ahead very well stated. obviously cog because it was about <laughs> the show so but apart obviously from that and he's putting them out well, anyway, he did that to think that, apart, that i mean gonna... in a in a way there's no there's yeah. not even in a friendly way with anybody so you know yeah. that's why i'm saying in such a comfortable way please screenshot them and put them out there um because they don't exist um like i said about him putting out my fucking pussy because he's so scared about his dick pics which i already said before he blocked me on twitter he, he was talking about it and i replied saying you know i would never ever share them and i wouldn't share any personal pictures like private pictures of like that that you sent me and that's a smoke that's screen. not me that's not my i actually have morals and ethics you know what i mean i'm i'm a good yes. person so I, I actually tweeted that at him as a reply when he was making out like I'd already done it. Yes. Um, and then he, slogs, I was blocked anyway. I was confused oh, why he, he only unfollowed me and I thought he would have blocked me up. immediately. Um, and I was really confused why he just unfollowed me. But maybe he wanted to see if I was going to start tweeting like a crazy person so he could use that. But that's just not my nature anyway. So um, I, hadn't, I haven't actually tweeted anything direct, uh, like my own tweet, I don't think at all. Um, I've just replied to a couple of things. <laughs> but, yes. you know, I'm not crazy person so i have restraint also it was slightly weird that it was calling me i'm so obsessed and such a psycho and then in that thing he's like and so and she contacted me two months later and then a year later and it's like if i was a psycho and and that it, that's a lie again the, the year later that would make it january 2024 again post it andy because it doesn't fucking exist um unless you're gonna again just, you know fake shit um but again i can show my um shit because it would say message deleted on my end um from me but it, it doesn't exist so you know it just, it just didn't happen um again with the five fucking 30 minute voice notes in a row um he said Still. oh on her birthday in january my birthday's not in fucking january he's like just like everything was a lot just absolutely everything well you know why he did that everything. because he wanted to make himself sound like a pimp right oh and i just tossed this bitch aside like cold-hearted <laughs> pimp right like oh i just threw her aside on her birthday. birthday isn't that funny oh, i think that's so based and that's literally what he said uh and i mean that doesn't make you seem based that makes you seem psychotic uh actually uh and it's just a lie anyway because it's 
not even true. <laughs> so it's not even true. Yeah. No, it's, that's, you know, it's so weird. What I was, I was like, why, why, why is he saying that? Like about the voice notes first, and then he's like, and on her birthday, and I was like, what the fuck? Is he like, why lie about such stupid shit? The first, it was like to me because I wasn't going to talk, but then when he was like, um, saying that no, please take her on a show. No one would be able to understand a word she says, and I was like, I could literally send like a very just on my. I could very much just record my voice and post it on my Twitter because people had started following me at that point, you know, that wanted to see if I was going to be a psycho and start posting loads of shit, I guess, and wanted to see a complete trash fire. But I've just, again, corrected the record. Um, and I, But I could have recorded my voice and just posted it out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's such an easy thing to, if, if I wasn't going to do an interview at all, um, I could, that's still such an easy thing for me to prove is a lie. So why would you lie about something so fucking strange like that? Well, when you're... that you never understood. I don't know what you've put up because I haven't been watching. Sure. Obviously, I'm I'm going to, yes. but I don't know if you've put up about you know the screen shot I sent you about him listening to my. Vo- I don't know if you've shown that, you uh, know, because I've I'll, sent I'll you. I'll pull some that tip. up now. Part of that is, is is for our goal, but I'll show that one, and I'm trying to find it. Um, obviously make sure i hope everything's edited no. when he says my name and stuff oh yeah i, I have, it, I have it right here actually <laughs> hold on give me one second because the super chat just came in a semester 33 um, cent one dollars okay. on rumble uh a measured response indeed i agree a very measured response uh and i'll pull this one up now there's a couple more and we'll, and we'll leave that to see uh, if we hit it, um, of course, the interview itself is the main course anyway, right? Uh, and that was going to happen uh, mm-hmm. regardless. But this is this is worse. Nothing, et cetera. <laughs> That's me yelling in the background. I accidentally turned my screen on uh, or my stream on and it played felt it, et cetera. Perfect, I think. Uh, actually, it was an accident, but I think it oh. worked out well. Uh, now, uh, I'll pull this up because since you referenced it. And it's worse. He's saying, hey, babe, I was just listening to your voice message. Oh, my God. I love listening to you. And you say, Mm. I was just finished watching you. Uh, And he says, you're Mm -hmm. so mm, hard to explain. Uh, And then you say, that sounds like I'm a stalker, LOL. And then he said, perfect. No, dot. And and you said, perfect. No, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, I was saying like perfect, it doesn't make any no, sense. As in, I don't think I'm perfect. Yeah. yeah, and then he says, "I was sad when it ended. I was sad when the text." No, that message he was talking ended. about. Um, yes, yes. No, it wasn't about a text message. I think that was about Jim's last stream. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I bet he was sad when that ended. Uh, and but, uh, you know, he's like, listening to my voice, and he loves listening to my voice. There's other ones in there that it's like he gets hard listening to my voice, but he couldn't understand a word I said. But he spoke to me for four years. I mean, I mean, why? But it makes perfect sense, doesn't it? I mean, and everyone here now has had my voice too, so they can make their own minds out well, whether everyone he could... in our chat has <laughs> and, been let... highly complimentary towards your voice, by the way. So uh, oh, yeah, I the first time I heard your voice, I was like, money. <laughs> I was like, I almost, I was like, maybe we should have you record something for the show. Like, uh, you know, I'm a bit of an Anglophile already. We talked about the British media and stuff like that. Uh, unlike a lot of them. Yeah, I know a lot about love, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a lot about it. I've been to London a couple of times and, uh, had a British wife at one point, uh, British, uh, Pakistani wife, actually. Uh, I know and, I watched the kill Yeah, you already knew all then. this. Yeah. I was telling her this and she's like, Oh, I already know. Cause I saw the kill stream. Uh, I but, watched it back then. but yeah, I, I have a bit of a, a bit of a history uh with jolly old england uh now let me um let me read through a a couple of these and then i'm gonna um like put a final thought and let you get your final thoughts out here because you know i don't i don't want to take advantage of your time and you've been so generous with it uh already but um you know i think it was needed uh to get this stuff out here uh king slog says cog this is how you interview take note uh revan says single mother who fought slash fights cancer i know you don't like hearing that but he's super chatted in. yeah yeah uh, i don't use that no she doesn't mom. use that that was me that that, that uh also that single mom because but i i wasn't a single i was married, married. then had yes. my kids yes. then stayed married for another decade yes. then then i i oh and also sorry yeah he said my husband left me which is just a complete fabrication i I I left my husband. Yes. He's a private person. I'm not. But you keep didn't have your kids out of wedlock. Why. Yes, you were. Um, no, I was married first. Holy. I was married. Yes, I was married at 18, and I had my kids when I was 21 and 23. And yes, young, whatever. But I stayed was then with that person a further, you know, many, many, many years. So, um, you know, 
and they have the same father. Yes, that's another thing. Weird fucking obsessional thing that's been going around also oh you know yeah i bet she's got different dads i bet she's got black kid like all this weird shit and it's like no none of that's true either so just whatever no it's if that's the best they can come up with just whatever yeah and he didn't mean it in an insulting way he, he was admiring you but yeah it is good to clarify that uh it's, it's not a single mother like you're just out you know fucking around and had kids yeah i just wanted to yeah, yeah i just wanted to clarify yeah, no, no i know they didn't mean it yeah, yeah, yeah. i just it, it's being like sing, single mother with cancer so it's like i don't use my health to get sympathy i don't wow that, you yeah, don't use your like, cancer diagnosis to get sympathy and sell health, hats are you serious yeah, you don't know how the not, game works any health any i don't you know i that's i'm just i'm just a mum. that's all i'm trying to say do you I'm, know I'm how just, many I'm hats not, you could sell <laughs> raven are you kidding me like uh <laughs> we gotta get you on that medicare shit i swear uh but uh anyway that's my own little uh, aside there. Uh, now I- I'm looking through. Uh, let me let me read the rest of that. Uh, Revan super chat says, "Yet she remains classy while dealing with all this stuff. Also fighting back like a wrecking ball of class. Pre- <laughs> pleasant voice, but she's tough. Uh, and as Master says, a measured response uh, indeed uh, is what that super chat there said. And I appreciate it. Yeah, and I agree with that. Uh, you could went a lot harder, uh, quite frankly. Uh, now, uh, let me see here. Uh, I'm, I'm looking through. Like I said, I think we we hit uh, most of these questions. Um, but but I, I don't know if you put up any of the other screenshots. I no, but I'm going to. Would be relevant. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Okay. Do you want to? Do you want me to put them up now? I don't know because I don't know what I sent you, but they were relevant for a reason. I know I sent All you. Right, well, I'll, you know relevant. what? I'll pull them up now. Fuck it. Uh, but I don't know. Mate, are they definitely edited? Yes, you know, they're some, edited. He keeps, yes, that's yes, yes. my private. Yes, but he I, said my private information. I edited it. Yes, personally. Um, yeah, okay, okay, and okay. Uh, I've been at this for a while. I mean, he's already talked to me now, right? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> that's it. true. Um, <laughs> Whatever. It says, twat. I'm so sad, babe. I wish you could be here. I need you, blank. I'm sad you are sleeping. I need you! I need you! When I move, can we discuss our future? I want to be with you always. I want to be with you forever. But you are so fucking amazing. It seems impossible. Oh, God. You're too good for me, Raven. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, it's just how you did that. Sorry. <laughs> too good for Sorry. Him. Well, he was right about that. <laughs> yeah, I am fucking too good for you. Yeah, that's the only thing he hasn't lied about. Well done. He, he, he told one truth. We finally have some truth out of Warski. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> also, I see truth, them doxing yeah. wow. over on over on kick it sure would be a shame if that got reported oh uh, i think there's a report feature now on kick i never used to be yeah it sure would be a shame sure would be a shame uh if i screen kept that and sent that in myself yeah uh i'll go ahead and take a little snap while while i'm thinking jesus christ there's so much you made me laugh so much i'm sorry when you just read that but the other one the other day it's the first clip like the first thing i saw when i come into the stream it's you doing you had like some dramatic music and you're doing this reading of the 16 lines as i call it um as <laughs> that's why you played the song at the start you know the, the 16 lines <laughs> and you were doing this dramatic re- i and i laughed and then when you said the sorry at the end it just i it was funny as fuck <laughs> well thank you for so that obviously i need to just read it and i i'm reading it and it's my own voice in my head because you hear your own voice you know what i mean when you're reading sure. a message in your head you know i'm not reading it out loud and so hearing it read out for the first time was like funny in a way to me <laughs> and then the way the music and the the the, the way you were reading it and then the way you sorry because he wrote sorry at the end of all of that um <laughs> and the way yeah it was just funny was well hilarious. thank you and i'm glad you heard that uh and i have a clip <laughs> yeah. of that i'll have to scroll through my twitter to find it but i'll, I'll play it uh, after you leave for those who missed it but um I, i'm trying to think of a think of a bow uh here uh for the interview um what are your i guess final thoughts and maybe we'll have you back on if you're down for it um, i think we got a lot of it out there but if you definitely if you want to come back uh, i'm down for that too um but what are your thoughts about just you know 
getting getting sucked in uh, by Worski's lies. Uh-huh. Uh, your thoughts on him, you know, laughing about abortion. Oh, your he's th- dumb. Your, your thoughts on, you know, him, like, I guess just that, like, did he, do you feel like he really revealed his true character to you over the course of your correspondence with him, right? Laughing yeah. about abortion, trying to, mm-hmm. trying to force you into taking the vax, coerce, I guess, coerce you into taking the vax while he's saying a different thing in public, um, you know, how he treats his audience. Just w- what are your, I guess, your final thoughts on, on the man, Andy Worski, Andy Perez? He's not a man. Yes, go ahead. He's not a man. He's not a man, but first of all, so I'll clap. I'll point. say that I don't. He doesn't act like a man acts at all. Um, and like I said earlier, I'm obviously I don't have a penis, but I was I meant it in the English slang way of like I've got a bigger dick than he does. It's sort of a slang thing over here. Like I I'm more of a man than he is, and I'm a feminine woman. So you know he's a bitch. He's not a man. Um, you know he literally. Yeah, he revealed himself. I think that, um, you know, again, there's going to be another cycle where he comes back and he's a completely different thing with a completely different belief system because it will be whoever he leeches onto next, who's his next co-host, and it'll be all their beliefs because he can't have an original thought of his own. And I think he's subhuman and doxing a mother um, and where her children are um, is just sick. Um that's and that's what you threatened me with to shut me up and that's what made me talk you stupid to little twat so none of this would have happened tonight if you hadn't thr- tried to scare me into silence so you did this to yourself and um again you know the th- please screenshot when i when i message you this year please screenshot and put it out there it doesn't exist please i give you permission and this everyone permission you have permission please screenshot my pussy and put it out there doesn't fucking exist never sent it to you so you know they're just a summary of you know stuff i've been said and i so you know but it's just he's just subhuman piece of shit i agree with that completely uh and i want to thank you uh for doing this i know it's a little nerve-wracking i i I know that it's, it's it is yes uh and you know i'm used to it um, I, I'm used to. I'm not. The, yeah, right. Exactly. Uh, normal people are. This not. is my first actual be able to speak about anything and kind of get my thoughts out. A I did sound a bit like a retard um, because I was New arming every second and pausing every two words, and you know, I probably did. Sound, you probably all did think I was retarded um, when you first heard me. I'm sure no. you did. I, I, I haven't looked at chat. I can't bear to because I'm. Well, you know, whatever they think, whatever they think, people are gonna think what they think. I can't. Everybody in that. chat's been but, on your um, side and. Even even the other day on COG, I didn't think that. Nobody here thought No, I that. meant on COG. They, they nah, were really like, what the fuck is nah, this She does sound retarded. Like, <laughs> like, I wish Ralph was talking to her right now so she could actually speak. That's what they were like. And even people in my chat were saying, you know, you well, s- you, there, there was still some good info in spite of the conducting of the interview. I was trying to yes. get stuff out. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, but I, I think you really uh, impressed a lot of people uh, here today and and we really I think, extensively okay. went through this but go, but go ahead hold on let me let this come through uh, Raven JJ oh. sent $1 on Rumble um, we appreciate you Raven you are based good uh, on you for yeah, standing I'm, up I to can't, him I'm not watching, Raven I can't said we appreciate you Raven you are based good on you for standing up to him new queen of the sector uh, as Master said oh, and, then, and then he also said how can he send a dick pic when he doesn't have one uh, now, <laughs> now go ahead and um, finish your thought and then I'll ask you one more thing and I'll let you go don't know if I can remember my thoughts. I just laughed. Okay. Um, I could, it was something you were already saying, and then I was gonna, yeah, just whatever. Carry on. Sorry. No, it's okay. Um, now uh, I see. Uh, I guess uh, Elaine's gonna call in after you. Um, but okay. Now things are popping off. Boy, they shut it down. Sent five dollars <laughs> on Rumble. Okay. Super uh, rock. Oh, I remember chat. what I was gonna say. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. That's fine. Something huge. Yes, go ahead. Um, he was. I promise you now, because he. A hundred percent was already in here before the show started, and I know for a fact playing sixteen lines would have triggered the fuck out of him. So please play it again before the end of the show because I, will. I know that would have triggered him. But I called it the sixteen lines message. That those messages are now forever known as the sixteen lines. And also the song is about coke. So also at the end it's all you know about talking to a woman. You know who you're gonna fuck when I die and all this shit and like you're gonna talk to me basically. So it really really fits the um theming of. 
okay. it was perfect. And I'm going to play it okay. right after and also have a song from Ass Master that he wanted me to play right after. We're going to bring uh, Elaine in. Okay, She's cool. in chat. She said, Raven is a queen. She dodged a fucking bullet, LMO, uh, Thank which, you. which is true. <laughs> and, and I saw your message. I'll just say but it was like a couple minutes before I came on. And I, I appreciate you, know, you sending me that message. I'll just say that. Thank you. Very cool, and um, I'm just looking. I think I think I got all the super chats in, but um, just just anything you like to say about yourself at the end. You know, Warsi's try to portray you as, as, as crazy and all oh, this, and, and you I seem don't need to say anything. perfectly I've normal to me. And I, I think you have to everybody else as well. And again, I just thank you for doing this, and, and kudos need... on your courage no, for fine. doing it because a lot of people would have backed down uh, in the face of all these threats, and you did not. Uh, so, master 33 cent one dollars um, on rumble and um really i mean i can't say it, it didn't cross my mind and it can't i can't say i, I wasn't worried and you know i, sure. I but even five minutes before coming on i was like oh, i don't know if i can do this but i did and i have and um i don't need to say anything about myself I, because i everyone's listened to me bang on for ages now <laughs> for, I, for hours probably it's been it probably been. Yeah. so you know they can make their own minds up i don't need to tell people how to feel about me they can feel how they want about me you know i i think i've spoken i've just been me and people can decide what they want i'm not telling people who i am they i think they've got enough of a sample to make up their own minds right now. They can take it or leave it uh, and have their own opinions. I think it speaks yeah. for itself. Uh, and again, I thank you for doing it uh, and stay in contact and, you know, don't let the, the haters get to you. You handled yourself perfectly oh, they're gonna here today. Go insane. I'm sure they will, but they're nobodies. They're nothing. They're losers. Uh, always keep that in mind uh, and don't pay them uh, any attention, quite frankly. Uh, I just hope if, you know, people are seeing my docs out there that, it, you know, people do the right thing. I don't know. I just well, they will. Do the right thing. And uh, I can guarantee you that. Did you say it was on kick? Yeah, they, they were As doing well. it in the kick chat. Yeah. Um, oh, cool. Right. So, um, we'll see uh, on his kuma tattoo or, or no no it's on a different channel but we'll, we'll see if kick oh, see, it about it because we do have evidence of it but um you know i can't guarantee but uh, i know i don't know what channel, i don't know that's I don't fine follow, don't give me any attention i don't even know where i'm I, being docked now yeah I, I, don't give me any attention i have um I have all the screenshots and all that stuff, so don't worry about it. But uh, I, I do appreciate you coming on and uh, taking so much time. And uh, well, I again, appreciate you listening. You handled yourself very well, Raven. Thank you for coming on the kill stream. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you everyone for listening to me ramble on. <laughs> no, you were great. Uh, you were great. Uh, and stay in touch. Uh, and go look at some of the reaction yeah. and and see see what you think about. I will. That. And. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, because I didn't see anything on screen, yes. on, on screen that you, you saw. I didn't see chat. I yes. will. I will watch it. I, you know, and I, even though I've been rambling on, that's why I'll actually hear what I've said that I probably didn't realize I said in the moment <laughs> when I was either annoyed and I couldn't compose myself quite as much as I did for no, the rest of it. Great. I'm sure there was moments. You, but, you did yeah, great. I, you did great, uh, and you had no reason to be nervous. <laughs> although I understand why you were, because uh, it's a big spot. But yes, uh, thank you so much. And huge there. threat made yes. before you know by andy and he followed through so you know congratulations yes. andy what does he think he'd done won the internet he's just doxed a mother with two kids well done you're so clever so okay. clever guy Whatever. yeah he really, it's just ridiculous. he really made himself look but, even better today yeah uh, exactly. a lot of people showing their true colors today but uh i, I appreciate you yeah. and uh, you know go take you know take some time and then and then look back at this yeah. uh and and be I well will. be well Take care. Thank you. And thanks everyone for listening to me ramble on. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye, Raven. Hill stream.